Where am I? What's going on? What? What are we doing? Oh. Oh my god, are we back? Am I back to the stream? Did I do it? Did I finally make it? Did I break the cycle? Oh my god. Well. Hello there, everyone. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while since I last streamed. A huge while. A long while. A big, big while. Alright. My life has just been... Just been... Fucking terrible. <laughs> lately. <laughs> First my back explodes. Then my internet goes out. Then my alarm refuses to work. Stopping me from streaming at all it's just wonderful isn't it right but we did it we're here i'm back we made it back and we're gonna play some goddamn danganronpa v3 right isn't this gonna be fun this is gonna be fun we're gonna have fun here that's what we're gonna do I I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to feel. <laughs> ah, V3. Why have you been curse upon me? You know, it's really weird. Well, first of all, before we start, a couple things. Got my AC going in the background, so you might hear that. I apologize, but it is fucking hot, and I refuse to turn it off. You can't make me. I won't do it, right? Second of all, for those of you who watched the last streams for Danganronpa V3, oh my god, look at the overlay, it's different. Isn't that cool? Isn't that weird? Isn't that fucking weird? This was commissioned. <laughs> that was commissioned by a, by a user named Belpy. I believe that's how you pronounce their name. Their uh, contact information is in the um, the artist the artist tab or whatever of the uh, of the what you call it the about me the panels whatever I, I don't know how to announce it. Man. Oh my god! It's shark! Thank you for the thank you for the fucking uh, alert. Which I'm gonna have to. How do I put that in the correct overlay? Uh, holy shit, eight months. Oh god, eight man. Oh god. You know what? Oh fucking god, eight months. Wow. It's about to be like a year since I started, I, I, for lack of a better term, since I started taking streaming more seriously, quote unquote, because my schedule's been all over the place. It's, it's been hell of a year. Uh... I gotta say, while my back was fucking exploded for the past two weeks and a half, I was still working, and I was working more shifts. So, it, ah, uh, god. I'm proud to say that today my back no longer hurts. I can finally bend. It's great, I can sit down without crying, and getting back up and walking like fucking... Hustis from Curse Cali Dog. Speaking of that, the voice actor from Mariel for Curse of the Cali Dog died. That's very sad. I liked her. She's amazing. Anyways, the schedule's been shit this summer. Medical stuff on top of that. Oh god, I feel I feel your pain, man. I feel your pain. I, I've, uh, I've recently been prescribed a new medicine which makes me feel uh, very very terrible in the tummy. I cannot eat food because I will die. That is the answer to that. <laughs> uh, but in the meantime, uh, away from the streaming, I've tried to reconcile that with uh, more uploads on the YouTube channel, quote unquote more uploads, how much you want to describe the word more. So right now, if you're watching the YouTube, uh, we're doing a playthrough of Jimmy Neutron Attack of the Twonkies on the PS2, that's really stupid, that's something that I did. And while that's going on, I'm also recording another playthrough in the in the uh, 
in the background, which should be coming out by next week. It's a it's a game that's really going to be fun for uh, the month of August, considering the game's coming out. So that'll be that'll be great. <laughs> I don't know how to stream no more. I lost all my ability. I got a debuff. That's what happened. Anyways, load game. I gotta say, I was a little scared to come back to Danganronpa V3, right? Because sometimes you just don't feel like reading the storybook to the class. Especially when you're someone like me who can't fucking read. <laughs> um, also, the main other thing that happened was that uh, last time I streamed this, someone in the chat said a spoiler, which if I remember to my knowledge, I tried to like fucking dodge like a god, right? I tried not to bring too much attention to it. Hopefully I didn't, right? But it wasn't like malicious or anything, so I don't blame them, but they got a little too excited, I should say, right? So please, this time, no spoilers. Luckily, it was a spoiler that I already knew. One of the three that I already knew, right? Uh, it just kind of felt sucky because it just re it re reminded me that I knew the spoiler, and I was like, "Oh, I'm sad. <laughs> I'm sad now." But uh, we're back here. Oh my god, fuck this game! <laughs> All right, so we're investigating. Dead body. Let's do this. I don't know how long I'm going to stream this for tonight. I, I got to slowly get back to the stream things. It might be a four hour stream. It might be a two hour stream. I, I'm not sure. Uh, so let's investigate. What, what do we got to do? Triangle button. My super sense. That'll be fucking amazing. Uh, you know what? Let's just talk to Suichi. Let's start off. Suichi. Hey, Kaede. You remember what we saw when we came here? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Um. We saw the moving bookcase close, close on its own, right? Hmm. No one even touched it, so how did it even happen? Hmm. Actually, it has to do with how the bookcase works. So we should move the bookcase to reveal the hidden door. That all right? Take a look at this. If I let go of the bookcase, you let go of the bookcase, and after waiting for a bit, just take a look inside a book, reading Rainbow. <laughs> uh. Oh man, it closed on its own. That's cool. Hmm. The bookcase is set up like an automatic door. It closes after a period of time. It makes perfect sense when you think about it. If it didn't close on its own, you wouldn't be able to put the bookcase back after you went inside. I see. The bookcase has to close on its own once you go through the hidden door. Moving bookcase! But wait, if the bookcase closes by itself after you enter the hidden door... Uh. Oh, maybe the reason why the bookcase closed itself was because the mastermind was hiding just past beyond the hidden door. You're right. After killing Rantaro, they ran through the hidden door. It certainly is possible. Let's check that out for now. Huh? Huh? How do we check it? Remember. The dust on the card reader, remember? So she moved the bookcase again to reveal the hidden door once more. Rumble, rumble, rumble. <laughs> Phone's about to die, I gotta switch yeah. to my laptop. I recently took out my laptop to uh, test some things, and I found out that my laptop has a dead battery. And also a cracked screen out of nowhere. So I just looked at my laptop and I went, you're useless now. You're, you're dead to me. I can't even take you anywhere because your battery's dead. That sucks. <laughs> All right, let's see. We learned to get a closer. We learned. We lean to get a closer look at the gap of the card reader. Huh? Huh? The dust is still there. You're right. Your dust is still there. How dare you say that to me, Kaede? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Looks like the card reader wasn't used. That means Mastermind didn't didn't hide here. Hmm. What if the Mastermind replaced the dust after they used the card reader? No. No, I remember exactly where I put the dust. I remember exactly where I put the dust, thank you very much. I fucking put a little pizzazz on that shit, put a smiley face on it. I wouldn't know. 
Okay. I think it's safe to assume the mastermind to assume, <laughs> make an ass out of you and me, that the mastermind did not go through this door. Um. The one who moved the m moving bookcase at the time was Rantaro himself. No. I can't say for sure. We'll know more when we get when we get the pictures back. Pictures that what's her face stole from me, Usumi. No, not Usumi. What? That's from Danganronpa 2. Fucking, what's her name? Monofi? Monofi. Something like that. There's a chance that someone else was hiding here. Car reader dust added. I see. Well, I think the mastermind is still the culprit. Um. So we just need to find the clues that can connect us to the mastermind. We'll end the killing game that way too. Alright. Hey, uh... What's your name? Kurumi. Tell me what you know. Hi. Why did the culprit not step forward and take the advantage of the uh, first blood part? Huh? What? Ben. The culprit must have killed to survive, so it's odd that they wouldn't step forward. Hmm. True, I wonder what that means. That's true. I can think of several possibilities, but the worst case scenario is... The culprit's objective wasn't to survive, it was to kill everyone here. Huh? Everyone! That is correct. That would explain why they would forego their survival in favor of a class trial. Um. But doesn't that seem like a bit of a stretch to you? Do you agree? Well, if the culprit is also the mastermind, then it's certainly plausible. Yeah. Well, true. Killing all of us does uh, does seem like something the mastermind would do. Yeah. So we cannot lose this fight. Even on this uncharted path, we must find our way. Uncharted? I like uncharted. Most people say it's kind of a hack of a game, but I like Uncharted. You, you run, you shoot, you jump. That's cool. That's cool. You do things. I like doing things. I do things. We have something in common. <laughs> well, if you're the ultimate detective, then you gotta use your, uh, then you got your eyes on the culprit, right? Huh? What? I'll leave it to you. Tell me who you think the culprit is. I don't mind if it's just an educated guess. Uh. Oh, I want to know too. Sorry. Uh, no. I'm sorry, I can't say anything yet. Not cool. But there's someone you're a little bit suspicious of, right? Not, uh, no, there's gotta be. Huh? Jeez. But you're afraid of that. You're afraid of suspecting someone, aren't you? That's how it looks to me. But, but with things the way they are, wouldn't it be better if, uh, for you to suspect others more? <laughs> Listen, man, if you need a gun, I have one. Just, just here, take it. I'll just. Suichi, I'll just slide it to you. You don't gotta say nothing. Just point. Maybe shoot. <laughs> and let me just warn you. The way the world works is that those who speak win. The truth can easily be twisted. In order to fix a twisted truth, you need something even more powerful. Huh? What do you mean? Be careful. I mean that testimonies without evidence are powerless. Edgeworth, where are you? You hear this man? I hear him. He's like, listen, evidence, court of law, it's everything. Oh man, speaking of Edgeworth, oh, at some point we're going to have to play The Great Detective. I'm not sure if we're going to do it sooner rather than later, but at some point we're going to do it. That game's out now. Mew, I love you. Marry me, please. Berate me until I die. Don't talk to me, crotch itch. Crotch itch. Ugh, that's bad. That makes me feel bad. I'm fucking busy. You continue ignoring us while she fiddled with the controller. Huh? What's that controller for? Ah. Dun da da dun. It's a prone. Um. Prone? Um. I don't mean to butt in to the conversation, but don't you mean drone? Actually. If it was a prone, it team up with the rest of the Ganglion's alliance to destroy humanity. I don't, I don't know that reference, I'm gonna be honest, is that a Gundam thing? I have no idea what she's talking about. Me neither, honestly. I haven't watched anime in months. So that's kind of sad. Then... Wait a second, the controller's... <laughs> <laughs> now you're getting addicted. Don't, I don't like that. Mm, I do not like that word. I do not like the phrase. That is very uncomfortable. That makes me uncomfortable. She laughed obnoxiously and pointed her finger upwards. Ha! Feast your eyes on the latest creation from the gorgeous girl genius, Mew Iruma. I love you, Mew. It's a drone. I told you that's a drone. If it was a drone, it'd be 
be leading a pack of vicious monsters. Is that Jerome? I don't get it. I don't get it either. When did you have time to make this? I got bored after I made those cameras you asked for. So I modified this RC plane. I even decked it out with a camera so it'll take perfect aerial photographs. From there, I'll use the photos as a reference to draft a floor plan to help the investigation. Pretty smart, Mew. I love you. This way, I get out of having to do any actual investigative legwork. <laughs> Drafting a floor plan with photos? That's amazing. I'm sure this will help with the investigation. Out of my way! The only problem is, I'm not used to operating a drone and taking pictures with it. Jeez. You shouldn't be proud of that. And if you don't hurry, the investigation will end soon. Bitch! I don't do... <laughs> I can't do shit about that. Just, I just like how she just calls me a bitch out of nowhere. That's it makes me feel good about myself. <laughs> I can't do shit about that. So just calm your tiny tits and shut up. Oh God. Oh jeez. Sh shut up, you. My chest is way better than your nasty cow udders. Oh God. <laughs> oh, come on, Kaede. You made her cry. What did I do? <laughs> udders. You're a bit wimpy when someone stands up to you, huh? You're actually a complete wuss. Oh, Mew, I love you. I'm gonna be very sad if Mew dies in this game. I'm gonna be very fucking sad. <laughs> I know both Maki and Mew can't make it. The world can't be that good to me. But god damn it, I would love it if they both did. Right? I don't know who killed Antaro, but... It's Monokuma's fault it happened. Because he pressured us, this happened. The motive he gave us is part of it. And so... And it's so strange... Wait, what? And so, it is that strange music. What? Why can't I read? What's wrong with me? That's terrible! He played that music at such high volume to make us feel sick and want to kill. Yeah, I know your feeling. I know that feeling, okay. man. That's how I feel whenever I hear somebody... Fucking full blast that terrible ass hip hop music that people listen to now. Yeah, that's right, I said it. Fight me. <laughs> listen, I try to get sleep for work. I can't get sleep for work because everyone's too busy having block parties all the fucking time. And if that's not happening, there's a jackass that lives behind me that's like, when I grow up, I'm gonna blow up fireworks every fucking night. And that's what happens. It sucks. <laughs> It was awful. I thought I'd go crazy. I can't believe it. I bet someone felt pressured by that and killed Rentaro. It's all Monokuma's fault. Um. Anyways, we have to stop the Mastermind so this is the last murder that'll ever happen here. We just have to. Promotional video BGM! Alright. Let's see. Drone? Work your ma- oh. Okay. I also forget that I can slap things with, with A button. Oh, there we go. Yeah! Start smacking shit. Getting coins. That's cool. Alright. Check, uh... Up here. Air vent. Vent's open. I was the one who took off the grade and left it in the duct. And we were keeping watch in the classroom. This vent's lead to. I don't think the culprit came in or out through there. Yeah, that's true. Vent added. Uh, what else can I grab? A ladder. A ladder, help. You can do it. The moving ladder I used to reorganize the books on top of the bookcase. Nothing out of the ordinary here. It's just a ladder. Moving bookcase. Moving bookcase is closed right now, so the hidden door is currently out of sight. By the way. You guys set up security sensors on top of the bookcase, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, it should still be there. Let me check. Suichi climbed up the ladder and looked on top of the moving bookcase. Remember. It's still here. I should take it down now. Oh. Removing it is fine, but won't your receiver go off when you move it? No. No, it's right. It's all right. I turn the receiver off. Hmm? You can turn it off? Okay. Yes, I made sure to switch it off on the way down here. 
I thought the mastermind would still be inside and I didn't want to alarm them. I see. I see. Smart thinking. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Very smart. Okay. Uh, can I see the dead body? I'm pretty sure I don't need to tell you this, but shouldn't we investigate Rontaro's body? Uh, um... Yeah, if we want to find clues, we have to. But if it's too much for you, Kaede, you don't have to, okay? No. No, it's fine. I can do it. I like dead bodies. They're kind of cool. I'm a weirdo. My mind was set, and I started to walk towards Rontaro's body. The last time I saw Rantaro, he was alive and well. Hmm. Why? Why did Rantaro die here? Huh? What do you mean, die here? Remember. I mean, if Rantaro was the one who moved the bookcase, that would mean he came all the way over here after the bookcase opened. He moved away from the hidden door to the spot. Why would he do that? And there's no trace of his body being moved. It doesn't add up. Are you okay? Are you... <laughs> I don't know why when he said, are you okay, my mind just went to Terry Bogard. You guys ever played fucking, um, whatchamacallit? Uh, King of Fighters? Terry Bogard, he's like, are you okay? <laughs> you gone pale. Although, I guess that's normal. We have to investigate a body after all. The body of someone who was alive and talking to us just a while ago. No. It's okay, really. We just have to do our best. Not just for Rantaro's sake, but also so we can avenge him. And so we can protect everyone else. We have to defeat the mastermind who's orchestrating this whole thing. Hey! Uh, Kaede? I'll help you in any way I can. I'll support you for this investigation. I'm sort of a detective, after all. Jeez. Sort of. You are a detective, remember? Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Man, Rantaro, you're dead! That's sad. You're sad. You're a sad person, Rontaro. You're sad. Hmm. Mm. I know we I know we need to examine his body, but I'm not sure where to start. Leave it to me. It's okay. I can do it. Suichi showed no hesitation as he began to examine Rontaro's body. Hmm. There's blood on the back of his head. It looks like a pretty deep wound. It's consistent with blunt force trauma. I don't see any other injuries. The Monokuma file is accurate. This must be the fatal wound. Um. So we can trust the Monokuma file? Uh, okay. Yeah, for now. So she then stuck his hand into Rantaro's pocket. Huh? What are you doing? Uh, I'm um. checking what if, what he had on his person. There might be a clue. If we're gonna do this, we have to be thorough. I told you I would support you after all. Hmm. How can you say that with so much confidence? Come on, Kaede, pull yourself together. Rantaro hmm. had in his possession the key to his room and the student handbook. The monopod is definitely his, and exactly the same model as ours. Um. He didn't have a key card on him? Could it be? And that's what I was thinking, but he didn't have it. Uh. Then Rantaro really wasn't the mastermind. Hmm. If he was the mastermind, he wouldn't have come here without the key card key. So... <sighs> so with what we know now... That is the most likely possibility. Why was Rantaro here if he wasn't the mastermind? Rantaro's belongings. Man, Rantaro, you're dead. That's sad. You're sad. You're dead now. A bloody shot put ball is on the ground. Could it be... The shot put ball? Could it be... Yeah. Yeah, it definitely came from the warehouse on the first floor. Hmm. There's blood all over it. And that's the murder weapon, right? I don't see anything else that could have been used. You're right. The shot itself is heavy. You would have to be fairly strong to use this as a weapon. Fairly strong, huh? Hmm. Are you okay? Kaede, you alright? We finished investigating the body. Let's get out of here for now, okay? Sorry. Yeah. Sorry about that. Hmm. Something's bothering me. Why did Rontaro come to the library? It seems like that he's not the mastermind. 
What reason did he have for coming here? Uh, I'm guessing it had something to do with what Rontaro mentioned earlier? It's not about oxifying everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. Hmm. Ending the game itself. Could it be... Then it's possible he noticed the hidden door in the library just like we did. Huh? What? Uh, um... What did you say? <laughs> what? He might have come to the same conclusion we did. That the mastermind would come here. Um... You mean, he had the same idea as us? No way. You should have told us. He could have, we could have worked together. I collapsed to the floor, crushed by the weight of my frustration. No. No, he probably couldn't risk telling us. Like you said, he was suspicious of everyone. I have you, Kaede. But Rantaro didn't have anyone he could trust. Then why the fuck did he go down into the basement with a whole crew? Of, like, what, seven people? That might have been the only difference between me and him. As he said that, he offered me a hand. I took his hand, and he firmly pulled me to my feet. You didn't have to move up close to him. <laughs> okay, video game. Remember. Kaede, let's go. You can't waste time now. You're not going to give up, right? You're going to save everyone. Yeah. Suiji. Oh, Suichi, I love you. He's right. I can't give up now. Suichi. Thanks. I feel like I can rely on you even more. Huh? Huh? Suichi's right. We can't give up until it's over. I can't stay depressed forever. I have to help everyone get out of here. We have to continue the investigation. We gotta find the mastermind. All right. Is that everything in here? Um, the rest is just other bookcases near the body. Front bookcase. Tons of books are crammed into the bookcase and arranged in various stacks on top. It doesn't seem as if anything has changed since we set up the cameras. Remember, The books that you stacked up haven't moved. Yeah. Oh, you mean the ones I stacked to keep people from going through the vent? Yeah. Those have been left alone. No, Kaede, overall, it's pretty useless for you to do that because you guys were just hiding inside the fucking... the uh, classroom that the vent led to. Stack books has been added to the monopad. Alright. Uh... I'll see. Time limit to start the killing game had almost expired. But then the countdown stopped and the obnoxious noise went away too. I wonder what would have happened if the time limit had expired. Alright. I think that's everything in here besides the globe, but I mean, what the hell is the globe gonna do? It's a mysterious globe, but I don't think it has anything to do with the incident. Alright. I feel like I'm missing something. I should investigate a little bit more. Oh. I was like, why the fuck did that happen? Um, Investigaciones. Mew, you come up with a floor plan yet? Fucking bitch. Don't talk to me, you ugly skank. Quit interrupting the investigation. Fucking moron. Uh, damn it, the shot out, the shot's out of focus again. Your fucking face is blurry and blurring the lens, bitch. The floor plan might be useful to the investigation, but it might not be finished in time for the class trial. I guess I won't expect too much. Hmm. Suichi, help me out here. Shuichi. Hey, Suichi, I need some advice. What do you think we should check first? I'm thinking about it too, but since you're a detective, you might know more than me. That's true. Hmm. What should we check first? Is, uh, is if the areas where we place the cameras have changed in any way. Like the bookcase, the vent. I feel like there might be clues around there. Mm -hmm. I see. I remember correctly. Also, I think it might be clues around Rontaro's body. It might be hard to do. Well. And finally, we need to hear from everyone here. We did that already. I don't think I checked the bookcase near Rontaro's body. Okay, I got it, Suichi. Uh, that's no problem at all. I hope I can be of some use. Let's head near the body again. 
Did I check the bookcase over here? Can I check the bookcase over here? Okay, I guess I'll just talk to Suichi then. Rotaro opened the bookcase, but he moved away from the hidden door to the spot. Why would he do that? And there's no trace of his body being moved. It doesn't add up. Hmm. See? Um, Suichi, can you tell me about Rotaro's body again? Okay. 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 Alright, so there's nothing new here. Would you like to leave? Yes, I would. So what the hell am I missing? This is the rare door. It's the full... Fullest? Wow, I was about to say the fullest. It's the farthest door from the stairs and it leads to the hallway. By the way, this is a sliding door, see? It opens when you slide it. Yes, I saw that. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a door, Kaede. Congratulations. You are you are very smart. Very smart, Kaede. I love you. Uh, um... I can't say for sure until we get those pictures back from Monocups. Mm. You're right. We'll just have to wait. Uh, is that it? Kurumi, you came up with anything more? I do not know. Mass mind is actually not to survive, but to kill us all. To destroy us all! Destroy us all! <laughs> Be careful. See, those who speak win! Testimony without evidence. Okay. The hell. What the hell am I missing? Sugumi? Uh. Let's see. Hmm. Played throughout the entire academy. Lose my mind. Tara's dead. What the hell? What am I missing? We check the vent. Oh, the door. It's the front door that leads directly to the basement stairs. We went through the door before we discovered Rontaro's body. Hmm. We entered the library through here with Kaito and Katenko. Yeah. Yeah, we saw the moving bookcase close, and then we ran over. That's true. We found Rontaro's body behind the bookcase. Hmm. hmm. I wonder if Rontaro entered through the same door as we did. Maybe the mastermind did too. That's. When we see the pictures after the Monocups developed them, that'll be clear. Aww. I guess we'll just have to wait then. Um. Kaede, I think we investigated the entire library now. Um. But we still don't know anything yet. I feel like we didn't get any closer to the mastermind. You're right. The most important piece of evidence will be those photos. Once we get those, but then again, we can't just say that and do nothing. Let's keep investigating what we can. Mm. Keep investigating? That's true. Yes. I think we should collect alibis. We need to verify... <laughs> just like Twitter, we need to verify everybody. <laughs> we need to verify where everyone was during the time frame that uh, Rantara was killed. I don't know why I stuttered so hard. I stuttered like a motherfucker. I, see. I stuttered like Porky Pig there. If this... Uh, eh. If that's the case... <laughs> Then who should we question? Let's question that bitch, uh, what's his name? Koichi. Koi Koichi. Kokichi. Koichi's from JoJo. <laughs> the six people that went down to the basement were Rantaro, uh, Kaito, Gota, Maki, Tenko, Enji, and Himiko. Let's talk to them first. Hmm. They should have been in the game room along with Rantaro. Let's ask them about what happened there. Okay, let's go find them. For now, let's head to the game room. The game room is for gamers. Gamers only. Non-gamers are, are not allowed. You gotta drink this much Mountain Dew and play this much Fortnite. You also must have dyed hair. And we cannot accept losing. Accepting losses, accepting failure. How dare you. Maki, why are you in here by yourself? It's kind of, it's kind of a little suspect, I gotta say. But I love you, though. I love, Maki, please don't die. Please don't die. God, please don't die. Um. Maki, you're in the game room when Rantara was killed, right? Hey. What are you all doing here? Rantara was with you, right? Hey. Am I a suspect? Everyone's a suspect, by the way. I love you. Oh no, that's not what I meant. Hmm. 
You should suspect me. In fact, you should be suspicious of everyone. Huh? Huh? Because... Someone got killed right after we all gathered here. Timing's too perfect. Then again, with the time limit so close to expiring, maybe that's why it happened. You don't know? So, trust no one, Kaede, or you'll lose. Got it? I love you. <laughs> I can't get a read on Maki at all. She just saw a dead body, yet she's perfectly calm. Maki, have you killed before? It's hard to imagine. I'm wait I'm waiting for there's always that moment in every dang and rompa game where someone pulls a fucking fucking genocide jack, right? And I'm just waiting for someone to pop off and be like, I was a murderer the whole time. I just didn't kill anybody because it's fucking boring. But But why were you all here in the first place? It was Kaito's idea. He suddenly wanted to hold a strategy meeting and gather us together. He said he should conf we should confront Monokuma once the time limit expires. I don't understand. And he picked the seven people he thought would be useful in the fight. He thought would be useful in the fight. He thought would be useful in a fight. Angie and Himiko? What the hell? What? <laughs> I understand Gonta, Tenko, Rantaro. Angie and Himiko? Useful in a fight? What, what do you think? <laughs> what, he said we gotta have our magician and the fucking healer in the background, support character, praying for us. Pray to Atua to heal us. But I'm not sure those seven would all be useful in the fight though. Kaito thought Himiko's magic and Angie's connection to Atua would be useful. I was right! <laughs> I was right! <laughs> he's like, he's like, listen, just pray. You, you're the healer, you're the DPS mage. Oh, I forgot about this button. Friendly. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that is right. Huh? What about you, Maki? Why do you also pick the ultimate child caregiver? This is stupid. He just looked at me and said, "Yeah, you probably know how to fight." <laughs> Welcome back, Shark. You said, "Yeah, you know how to fight." I mean, I mean, look at her. She probably knows how to fight. She looks like the type of person who grew up in the ghettoest of neighborhoods. Trust me, I would know. That's it? Jeez, that doesn't sound like something Kaito would do. But... But why have a strategy meeting in the game room in the basement? I don't know. Beats me. Maybe Kaito figured it would be harder for Monokuma to find us here. In other words, it was just a coincidence? Uh, um... And what was Rintaro doing at that time? Was he in the strategy meeting with you? That's true. He was at first, but then he executed. He executed? Why did I say that? He excused himself to go into the bathroom and left on his own. <sighs> also made mac and cheese. Oh god. Fucking, I have to say, I mean, who doesn't like a little good of mac and cheese? But for some reason, people I live with, they just love making that horrible Velveeta shit. And listen, I'm not snooty about the food, and Velveeta's not that bad in terms of taste, but it's fucking Velveeta. It's chemical goop. It's the sludge that made the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Why do you want that in your body? Why does it taste so good? <laughs> Alright. Kaito and Tenko went looking for him so we can finish the meeting before time expired. That must have happened around... Huh? What are you guys doing here? Well, never mind. Your timing's perfect. You should join our strategy meeting. Kaede is definitely welcome to join. Um. Then did the four of you just wait in the game room the whole time? Nope. Sometimes chemicals are good. Sometimes chemicals are good. Sometimes you just need it. You just need that fix in your system. And even though they tell you you shouldn't, you do it anyways because you can stop whenever you want. They don't have control over you. I can stop whenever I want. You can't stop me. You don't you know what's good for me. I know what's good for me. Angie, Himiko, and I were the only ones who stayed behind. Gonta never joined us. Huh? Huh? Gonta wasn't with you guys? Wait, what? Gonta wasn't with... Wait, what? <sighs> Gonta did arrive, but then he left and locked himself in an AV room in the back. Hmm. He was in the AV room by himself? Yeah. 
Suspicious behavior, isn't it? The other two felt the same way. Um, what other two? Like I'd know. Why don't you go to the AV room? They're probably still there. Maki's account. I love you, Maki! Please don't die. Please don't die. Please. Please. Suichi. Hey, Suichi. I like when Kaede says Suichi. I don't know why. It sounds cool. <laughs> they microwaving styrofoam makes things taste good. Oh. That made me uncomfortable. <laughs> Microwave and styrofoam. Styrofoam. Oh. You say styrofoam and I'm just thinking of like, you know, when the styrofoam like falls apart from like a package you get and then it rubs together and it just makes your skin crawl because it's fucking terrible. Hey, Suichi. The AV room is that room in the back, right? Could it be? Kaede, have you never been in there before? Yeah. Nope, not yet. Anyways, let's go. Hi, Gonta. It creeps me out that you don't wear any shoes, but I understand. It's your own provocative. Wait, Gonta not murder anyone. Come on, man. I told you. We're not saying you did. We just want to talk. No. No, it's him all right. He's got the face of a killer. No way. No, no judge Gonta by his, but his outside. On inside, Gonta gentleman. Hey. Hey, what's going on in here? Ah. Oh, hey there, Kaede. We're just trying to ask him. Eh, just tell us while, while we're still asking nicely. <laughs> are you or are you not the culprit? Yeah. Or, are you not not the culprit? Are you not 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 the culprit? Huh? Gonta not not not? Nah. It's just been this over and over again. We can't move forward at all. Um. I think your questions are the problem. Hmm. Then I'll change the question. Timmy buys fu- <laughs> Not Timmy. Not little Timmy. Leave Timmy out of this. Timmy buys five strawberries for 50 cents each and one apple. Jeez. That's totally off topic, Kimiko. Do your own math homework. You know? Hey, Gonta. I talked to Maki earlier. You were in the basement AV room alone the whole time, right? Mm. But what were you doing in here? Um. Gonta happy to be invited to meeting, but Gonta think he not much help because he not smart. Bugs are so Gonta in here alone, watching Bug Movie. He said, yo, I was watching A Bug's Life. <laughs> you ever seen that shit? Fucking, what, what's the name of the ant in that movie? Flick or something? He's all like, you'll never get away with this hopper. <laughs> Might have already been asked, but how do you like the game compared to Ace Attorney? Uh, since we're still in the beginning parts, I can't, we haven't done like a trial yet. I mean... Years ago, when this game came out, I did the first trial, and then I didn't do much after that. But, so far, I mean, they're both, they're both neck and neck, but with my previous experience from other Danganronpa games, I would say that I can probably count more on the evidence in this game than I can in uh, Ace Attorney. Because, I mean, look at all the information they give me! God! They tell me what I need to know. Take notes, Ace Attorney. I can't really blame Ace Attorney, though, because it's been, like, a living hell for them to localize that game for some reason. But, uh... <laughs> but, I mean, I love Ace Attorney, right? I, I am now an avid believer, and I can't wait to play the great Ace Attorney whenever we have time for that. We gotta finish this game first. I don't wanna juggle both of them at the same time. <laughs> the man killed no one. <laughs> There's a new AA game finally out? Yeah, it's the um, the Great Ace Attorney that finally came out. Those two games. I just wanna, I just wanna, it might take us some time, but we're gonna finish this. We gotta finish this first, and then we'll move on to Great Ace Attorney. I know it's gonna take us some time, but but we have to do it. To go to in here alone, watching Bug Movie. Huh? Huh, what? How's that help? Honest. Bug Movie feel Gota would fight. Make Gota ready to fight Monokuma. I see. So, it helps you fight. Okay, sure. He said, listen, that scene when they fight Hopper and they get the bird to eat him? That fills me with fighting spirit. I want that. <laughs> oh, hey. I, I'm be honest, I do not know how to pronounce your name. 
I'm gonna try and I'm gonna butcher it. I'm gonna assume that the P is silent, so sue me. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Hope you're having fun. Helps you fight. Okay, sure. Do you. <laughs> She's like, no. you do you. It is what it is. But why was it locked? Huh? <laughs> it don't matter. She said, don't matter, don't matter. Was it locked? If you don't answer honestly, I'll change you into a girl with my magic. Listen. You can do that anyways, Himiko. I'm pretty sure Gonta would be fucking a wonderful woman. See how ripped that man is? Huh? Gonta cannot become girl, Gonta. Then Gonta never become gentleman. Himiko, you can just shut up for a second. You're making this harder than it needs to be. Is that all right? Gonta, can you tell us what happened next? Gonta, Gonta just need focus. If Gonta no focus, Gonta no can fill fill up a fight. Honest. That's it. Really. Gonta just want to protect everyone. <sighs> but you guys not. <laughs> Calm down, Gonta. He's like, but you're not believing Gonta, huh? Because Gonta's so big and scary, huh? Am I scary now? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you're making a real scary face. How can this be? Gonta feels so useless. Calm down, Broly. It's okay. <laughs> uh, oh, the Naoto emote. Yay. <laughs> it was the emote. You came to check out the stream. Pet, you pet the Naoto. That's what you do. Whenever you have problems, you just pet the Naoto. And you tell nobody. Just, it's going to be okay, Naoto. <laughs> After hearing his story, I see why people would suspect him. But I wonder what really happened. Could he actually be the mastermind? That's oh, true. speaking of emotes, fucking, oh my god, finally. I don't know why I took Twitch so long, but uh, I don't think it's fully out yet, but they're testing out follower emotes. I don't know why they need to test that out, but you can now give emotes to people just for following. It's out? Fuck, I'm gonna have to change that for the next stream. Holy shit, for the longest time, I've been like, I've been like, why can't I just give people emotes for fucking following? What's the problem with that? Like, if people want to sub, let them sub. I'm not a fuck. like, what, what's gonna change? I don't have time to do, like, Discord server or anything like that. So what the fuck, man, just let me, I got emotes, let me give it to the people. But, next stream, next stream, I'll definitely set that up. I'm excited as fuck for that. Uh, animated emotes are a thing now too, right? Because they had animated cheer emotes. But now you can do animated emotes. So I guess BTTV is kind It's somewhat obsolete, but you still get more emote slops for using it. God, fucking... Sometimes Twitch is just fucking morons, man. <laughs> like, I don't get it. Kaede, let's investigate this room a little more. We also need to verify Gonta's alibi. Yeah, you're right. You're right about that. What kind of movie was you watching, Gonta? It's a screen for the projector, but the projector's turned off. That's true. If you roll up the screen, you can use it as a long pole of sorts. S uh, so what? No. I was just thinking that it could be used for something. Used how? <laughs> Sometimes you say some weird things, Suichi. Must be a detective's quirk of yours. Uh, okay. Uh, you think so? Sorry. You can treat it as my as me talking to myself. All right. Uh, what else can we check in here? We got speakers. Guess we can also talk to Kaito. Kaito, what was your plan? Damn. Jeez, I can't believe it happened right next door to our strategy meeting. Hey. Kaito, can you tell me more about the strategy meeting of yours? You gathered everyone to meet in the basement, right? Huh? What? Am I one of your suspects now? Um. Everyone's a fucking suspect, except for Suichi, because I love him. No, uh, that's not what I meant. That's natural that you suspicion, suspicion, that you suspect me. But I'm not the culprit. I swear it on the universe. Got it. I got nothing to hide, so you can ask me anything. Yeah. Uh, gotta have those PP emotes. PP. Not PP. Pepe. That's his name, right? The frog. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like the frog. <laughs> I don't like Pepe the Frog. It's so weird. So weird. 
I'm not saying that he's not a good meme, but he's just weird. Then, what emotes do I even have from BTTV right now? I let me check that for a moment. I'm actually. Let me see. Oh shit, that's not how you check those emotes, right? How do you do it? Fuck. Where's my BTTV shit? Did it like uninstall itself or something? Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Nauto. I love the Nauto. You pet the Nauto. That's what you gotta do. I feel so bad for now. You know what? Let's not talk about Persona 4. I'll go on a fucking tangent. Whatever. <laughs> we'll save that for when we do that playthrough. Inevitably. Well, now that we had now that we have the chance, let's look back at the in entire incident together. Kaito went to the scene with us, so he might have noticed something we missed. Got it. All right then, where should we start? Hmm. After Kaede and I set up the cameras, we were kept keeping watch from the classroom. Some time passed, and then you we saw you guys go down to the basement. Hey. <laughs> Do I have the gachi emotes? Gachi. What's gachi? I don't know what that is. I'm not big into memes. I will say that. I am kind of... I'm kind of like, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh... Ignorant to that, I guess? Would that be the word to describe that? No, I don't know. Listen, I also didn't know fucking stream culture for a long time i still don't know stream culture i don't know i still clearly don't know what the fuck pog means or poggers i'm not sure what that is <laughs> used to be a big meme man but it's so hard to keep up i mean everything's a big meme now to be honest it comes and goes so fast <laughs> when did you start asking people to go with you so... i don't remember the exact time but i asked them one by one and we all went there together okay. That's why, we, that's why, that's when we saw you. You, Gon, Tamaki, Tenko, Angie, Himiko, and Rantaro. You know, now that I think about it, the monitors started going off just before that. The creepy music made it hard to keep the strategy meeting going. Um, I want to confirm what you told me so far. Everyone went to the game room for the meeting and no one went to the library, right? Uh, yeah, we went straight to the game room, but I, right after we went inside, Gonta went into the AV room and wouldn't come out. Yeah. Yeah, Maki told me about that. So... After that, during the meeting, Rantaro left to go to the bathroom. But we thought it would be bad if the meeting stopped, so me and Tenko went to go get him. And that's when we met with you guys. Okay. We had gone down to the basement because the security sensor receiver went off. Yeah. And right when I was about to open the library door, you guys called out to us. So after you and Tenko left the game room, Himiko and Maki were still in there, right? Got it. Yeah, I can guarantee it. But you know, However, I can't guarantee that Gonta wasn't here the whole time. I see. I see. So we can't confirm Gonta's alibi yet. Hey. The library's rear entrance is at the end of the hallway, correct? Did you see anyone there? That's right. Well, I didn't get a good look, but I'm sure I would have noticed if someone was there, especially if they were fucking six foot fifty. <laughs> Twitch just picked it up recently. Hmm the meme before memes see the meme before meme that i know is um fuck i was about to say it but i can't even re remember the name of it uh i can't remember the specific name but it's the guy who um it's the picture of the dude with the long nose who looking over a wall right back to nico nico in like tw in 2004 all right, let me look this up. I'm gonna look this up now because I might know it and I just never put a name to it. But yeah, the meme I'm talking about, well, I guess it would technically be a meme. Uh, I forgot the name. It's like someone was here, Phil was here, or something like that. Let me look this up. Do 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 do. It says it's a video game, what? Gashimuchi Rebirth. Gashimuchi. What? 
Uh, name given to a subculture of adult movies that involve muscular men wrestling in a pornographic manner. Since its debut, it has become a minor meme of the of the Sil Silva Gunner channel. Who's that? I'm learning a lot today. <laughs> Uh, under the character of the same universe, Silver Gunner's video consists of, of bait and switch videos with jokes, memes, and parodies of video game music. What? It's a YouTube channel, Silver Gunner and Silver Gunner 2. Guys, guys, he's not a video game. It says it there when you type it in the Google, man. It's what it says. Huh. Unbreakable Determination, JP version, Ninja Gaiden. That was uploaded 19 minutes ago on the uh, Silver Gunner channel. So go check that out, I guess. <laughs> well, the more you know. Have I ever played Bayonetta? I have played Bayonetta 1, never touched 2, and I never beaten Bayonetta 1. And that's because I borrowed it from a friend. And then I was like, let me give this back because I don't feel like holding on to it too long and I haven't played it that much. And then uh, I was going to buy it, right? I was going to buy it on the PS4 or whatever, but then I was like, might as well get both of them on the Switch whenever I can, because the second one is a Nintendo-only game. But yeah, I know Bayo. I know Bayo and Jean and the Devil. I forgot his name. <laughs> and Loki. Wasn't Loki new in two or something like that? Well, I didn't get a good look, but I'm sure I would have noticed if someone was there. Then I opened the door to the library with you guys and found Rontaro's dead body. That's just about how we met. How we met? <laughs> how we? How it went? Huh? We didn't learn anything new. Come on, man. So I'm not clear to suspicion yet, huh? No. I don't worry. You're not a likely suspect. Dumbass. Hey, that's not something a detective should say. Huh? What? Listen up. If you suspect me, you better pursue it to the end. Investigate until you're satisfied. If you don't do that, you'll never reach the truth. Rontaro will have died for no reason. Got it. This is where you need to let your ultimate talent shine. Suichi. Yeah. Anyways, if you notice something or remember anything, just let us know. Of course. Well, I'm not planning on leaving it all to you guys. I'll investigate my own way. All right. Hey, Miko. Tell me what you know. Look up Gayonetta. Oh my God. I have to now. I have to. I really hope it's what I think it is. Because I would love it. Is it... Is it a video? Or is it a... Is it just a picture I'm looking for? Because the first thing I get is a video that says Ganetta <laughs> dot AVI. Video? Oh god. Alright, here we go. Work those fucking heels. Oh my god. <laughs> what? He can get comboed. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Bro, mastery of heels? I love it. <laughs> oh, thanks for the follow. I wish that it wasn't covered by the donation goal. But that's gonna be there for a while, so... Um, thank you for the follow, though. I greatly appreciate it. The culprit's definitely Gunta. He's suspicious no matter how you look at it. No. No, it's still too early to determine that there's a lot of things to... Wait, what? I, I just had, like, a stroke. No, it's still too early to determine that. There are a lot of things to consider. Mm -hmm. Eh? Really? Even so, it's definitely Gonta. He's suspicious no matter how you look at it. Mm. No. Why don't you help investigate before you decide that, Himiko? What a pain. Investigating's a pain. Gonta's suspicious, no matter how you look at it. Got it? Like I said, you need to investigate before you decide that. Hell, use your magic for all I care. Impossible. Magic shouldn't be used like that. It'll lead to corruption. Jeez. 
then stop being so lazy and put some actual effort into this. Let's check the door. The actual video is 100 though. The heal dude ain't it? Oh, really? Slash F on YouTube. Alright, this is the last time I'm gonna check. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh god, what am I looking at? It's a two minute video. Is it that one? It's like a two minute and 23 second video. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm not going to watch the whole thing, because we are in the middle of the stream, but I'll take a peek. Oh, what the fuck is that? What? <laughs> <laughs> Why are they wrestling in the locker room? <laughs> All right, okay. That's enough of that video. <laughs> I will look at that later. <laughs> I will look at that later. <laughs> I saw, I saw, I saw butt cheeks getting smacked. Is this connected to the hallway? It seems like, it seems that way. Let's check. It's a sliding door. I'll open it. I love how YouTube is trying to be like kid friendly, but that's on YouTube, right? <laughs> later? Of course later. See, Shark's got the right idea. Of course I'm gonna look at it later. I tried to open it, but... The clank. Huh? Huh, that's weird. It doesn't open it all the way. Um. Looks like it wasn't installed right. I can only stick my arm through. I can see the hallway on the other side, but I suppose it's not possible to use this door. No, no. no. If it's going to, it doesn't matter if the door was stuck. Just rip that shit off the hinge. He's strong enough to throw that super heavy manhole cover. That's right. Yeah, he could eat the door for breakfast. Gonta never do that. Gonta not eat door for breakfast. Breakfast most important meal of, of a gentleman's day. Okay. I agree. I never get to eat breakfast. I get to have breakfast for dinner, though. Am I cool now? Huh? Huh? You think Gonta can eat this door? No. No, not that. I mean, I don't think he did anything like that. Look at this. Is that all right? There's stuff piled up on the railing of the door. The sliding door hasn't moved in a while. You know, if I was going to in that room, I probably would. I probably would play with the dust. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna look at it and I'll be like, I'm gonna blow that dust away. Mm. So then. He just forced his way through the gap, a gape, gape, through the cap. It's not possible. There may be enough space for a baseball to fit through. I guess an arm could fit through as well, if it were thin enough. It's magic. So then he probably used magic that makes you slim and keeps and keeps the fat off. Wait. Got to know can use magic. Okay. Oh, I can use magic. These two never have anything important to say. What's the matter, Suichi? No. Nothing. Just something I want to confirm. I'm going to. Tr I'm going to try sliding the door one more time. As Suichi peeked through the gap of the sliding door, he murdered, murdered, I muttered. <laughs> I thought so. Look, you can see the rare entrance to the library from here. This door and the rear entrance are located straight across from one another. Um. So what? That's. I'm not sure if it matters yet, but it's a little concerning. Concerning how? Sliding door. I think we investigate everything here too. Mm -hmm. Then what should we do next? Hey. For now, let's ask the others some questions. And there's still people we haven't talked to. Aww. This would be done with if we had the pictures. We wouldn't have to waste our time like this. We already know who the mastermind is. Mm. That's true. But we shouldn't wait around and do nothing. Yeah, yeah you're right. Well, bye guys. Thank for your time. Oh, it's, it's late for you? Alright, if you gotta go, go. Thanks for stopping by, though. I appreciate it. 
I'm gonna try to I can't promise anything because the world hates me but I'm gonna try and stream more I'm going to try and at least get three or maybe two days of streaming. And then in the meantime, I'll probably do some playthroughs on YouTube just to kind of balance that out. But thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. All right. Tenko, what are you doing out here? What's going on? Oh, Tenko, I wanted to ask you something. We asked Tenko about what happened in the game room. But she only confirmed that Maki had told us what Maki had told us and didn't provide any new information. Damn it! Why are you so useless? Mm -hmm. I see. That's right. I knew it. Kanto would be the most suspicious since he locked himself in AV room. Not to mention he's also a male. Hmm. Uh, are you submitting that as evidence? Hey. By the way, how is your investigation going? No. I haven't done any investigating. Huh? What? Degenerate male. Hey, degenerate! Don't give me that face. I've been doing something else. I've been watching Angie. Huh? Watching Angie? Listen up. We agreed to investigate with one other person, right? But Angie just been wandering around alone. I see. Oh, that's why you're with Angie. Um... I don't want to suspect anyone either, but girls' li lives are at stake here. Okay. For an investigation like this to work, we have to trust each other. Hello? Are you... Are you... Ten Tenko? <laughs> Hello? Oh, she does not look happy. She looks far from it. Uh, Don't act all high and mighty with me, you two-faced degenerate. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry, Tenko. Damn. <laughs> but I gotta say, I do like it when you stare at me like that. It makes me feel low and pathetic. No. Sorry. That wasn't my intention. I love you, Tenko. Bye. Guess we'll go look for uh someone else. <laughs> it's 3:30 a.m. Oh my God, is it 3:30 a.m.? Let me see. For me, yep, it's 3:30. So, so you are on the East Coast, my friend. Uh, classroom. I want to look for Kokichi. Oh, well, here's the robot. Kaede Suichi, I'd like to ask you two a question. You were on lookout inside this classroom, right? Yeah. yeah, from here we could keep an eye on the basement, and it was close to the library too. You're right. That's our alibi. We were both in the classroom when the murder occurred. I see. I see. Then the probability that you two committed the crime is extremely low. By the way, were you two together the entire time? No. No, I did leave for a bit to see what was happening in the basement. But, besides that, we were together the whole time until the receiver went off. Yeah, yeah that's right. Thank you very much. I understand. Thank you. Hey. Huh. Well, that's cool. Is that all you wanted to ask? Um, oh my, I asked you one more que- Uh, oh my. May I ask you one more question specifically about the vent? By the way. It appears to be connected to the classroom. Forgot that I'm not on the West Coast? Oh yeah, no, I am not on the West Coast. I'm at the land of the pizza, but not the not the native land of the pizza, the land that perfected it. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Fight me. <laughs> the air duct in the basement hallway leads to it. That's yes. I was also concerned about this vent. That's why we kept watching this classroom. That's right. Because Copra wouldn't be able to use this vent if we were here to look out. That's right. Under those circumstances, it would be difficult to sneak into the library from here. Okay. Kaede stacked up books in front of the library vent as well. With those in the way, it would have been harder for someone to go in and out. I'll commit that to my memory. Really? Well, I will be sure to save that important piece of information to my memory bank. Thank you very much. I hope my line of questioning is not offend either of you. It's necessary so that we may find the truth. Mm. Kibo, you totally sound like a detective or a lawyer just now. Uh. Oh, maybe you were a detective or a lawyer in the past life. <laughs> A past life? I'm gonna have a past life when I'm not made of human components. What if Kibo just pulled a fucking Mass Effect like the Geth and he just went, Does this unit have a soul? <laughs> and then the and then what are they called again? The fucking Quarian? They just lose their mind, they just go turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. It's self-aware. 
Eh, let me guess. You wish to hear my alibi, yes? Huh? How'd you know? You see. My appearance and actions thus far. I mean, you look like a JoJo villain. Come on, man. <laughs> thus far suggests I'm someone that would commit a murder. Yes, I believe that. At least he's self-aware. Well. So, to briefly state the truth, when the body discovery announcement played, I was in the dining hall eating supper. The other people there with me were Mew, Kurumi, and Smoogie. The Monocos prepared the meal for me and was list that was listed on the menu. Pasta that tastes like a lonely old lady eating her grandkids' birthday cake. Oh god. Hmm. The pasta sounds depressing. Do you understand? That concludes my alibi. I do hope it can be of some help. Hey! This dude is sketch as hell. He is Listen, when you walk up to someone. And he's all like, humans are, they can be good or evil, but I don't care. I'm just interested in what they do. And he starts touching his face and posing and shit. It's like, bro, come on. This must be a work of an enemy stand. What are you doing? <laughs> what about the people around you? Did you notice anything in particular? Yes. Particular, peculiar, whatever. Ah, if there was something to know, it would be that Mew was tinkering with some, something or other. There was also a brief period of time where Samugi left to the restroom. The restroom, huh? Intriguing. Well, Samugi is the ultimate cosplayer. She could have gone to the bathroom to secretly disguise herself as someone else. Uh, um, someone else, but who? Yeah. I don't know, but I'll go talk to her. She could be at the crime scene in, this, in the library. Well, thank you, you're... I'm sorry, I had to like pause for a moment. Look at his face. Is he like... His face looks pretty intense there. I can't... <laughs> can't tell if he's just like staring into the void. I can't leave here yet. For what? Suichi? Is that all right? <laughs> Think he may be the guy in the Nazi inspired outfit might just be evil. I don't A part of me wants to say yeah, but I don't feel like it's fully Nazi inspired. I'm not sure. Because I mean it, it's the armband, right? It's the armband. Let's face it. The Nazis ruined the armband as a fashion statement, even though armbands are kind of cool. <laughs> but Japan, they were like, fuck it. We still use the armbands. We all like it. But he does look kind of like a Nazi, though. I'm not going to lie about that. Let's ask these two what we're doing, uh, what they were doing when the body discovery announcement played. Oh, shit. I didn't talk to Kibo because he instantly asked us questions, right? Hey, hey Kibo. What were you doing during the body discovery announcement? Ah, hmm. oh, my alibi. Are you okay? I think he has a bomb. Huh? Are you glitching right now? Well. No, I'm just searching for the right words. In all honesty, I was alone in my room, so I admit it. I admit my alibi is not altogether reliable. Sorry, I had like a hiccup. Not altogether reliable. Um. So, you don't have an alibi. <gasps> But Rielma said he was alone in his room, too. Aww. Jeez, way to throw him under the bus. Huh? Huh? It's not my intention. That was fully your intention. You know what you did. But I see, both Kibo and Rielma don't have an alibi. That means it's possible for those two to be the mastermind. Oh. Mm, am I under suspicion because I don't have an alibi? No. No? I won't suspect you just because you don't have an alibi. Of course. And I'm not saying that because you're a robot or anything. I'm not robophobic at all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. But you don't need to be so PC. I think I just threw up in my mouth a little. <laughs> okay. Putting aside the thing about Smoogie, now we know everyone's alibi. Oh, well, what about Kokichi? No. We don't need to ask him. He was definitely alone. That guy has no friends. Everyone we talked to hasn't seen him, so no one would collaborate with his alibi, right? That means he must have been alone. I see. Oh, you're right. I guess that's why you're a detective and I'm not. He's like, we don't need to talk to that guy. He's a loser. Why would I, why would I talk to that guy? You, you see me talking to that guy? I'm not going to talk to that guy. What, what the fuck? <laughs> why does this dude have only face towards <laughs> forward no matter where he looks? <laughs> because, listen... He's kind of like Ash Ketchum, right? Shit don't get serious until he turns that shit backwards. And then he goes, yeah, that's right. I'm going to lose a water type to a fire type matchup. Uh-huh. I'm Ash Ketchum, the world's shittiest trainer. And no, I am not red. Anyone who says Ash is red just need to listen. 
I'm not saying you should do anything heinous. I'm just saying you should maybe take a little hike to the Appalachian Mountains. Maybe get lost. Maybe just a little bit. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything bad. I'm just saying maybe you should just maybe you should just prove how right you are. Right? By just taking a hike up the mountains and just like red, just don't bring a map with you. Just, just toss it off. Toss it away. And then we'll see if you uh we'll see if you'll become the trainer on top of Mount Cornet or whatever the hell it was called. Alright, who am I here to talk to? Samugi. Uh, hey. hey Samugi, I need to ask you something. Uh, hmm. She looks like she's busy thinking about something. She won't talk to me. Hmm. Okay, but that's no excuse to give up. I grabbed the hemp of Samugi's skirt and began to lift it slowly. Got it? I'm gonna lift your skirt, Samugi. You okay with it? Kaede, why are you like so pervy? Wait, Kaede. <laughs> better talk or I'm gonna lift your skirt for Switchy to see. Then I'm gonna tie your skirt around your head so everyone can see your panties. I've seen enough hentai to know where this goes. I understand. I understand. I just need to talk, right? Mm -hmm. Ah, it took you long enough. <gasps> well, I can't let Suichi innocent eyes get dirty. That's wrong. No. They won't get dirty. He's like, no, that's fine. It's fine. They'll still clean. Shuichi. Are you saying you seem dirtier, Suichi? I mean, we just seen a dead body, so uh, what? What's wrong? What did you What did you want to talk about? No. I'm just gonna cut to the chase, since you're the ultimate cosplayer. That means you could disguise yourself as anyone, even one of us, right? Uh... Oh, so that's what you think of me? Well, since you're in this situation, I'll be clear. I only cosplay fictional characters. I don't cosplay real people, or rather, I can't. Um, you can't. Isn't it easy to just wear someone else's clothes and disguise and all? Struggling so hard to understand the vibe of this game. You can't. Uh, the vibe is serious murders with the world's most goofiest people. It's like if you just tuck like... I don't know, if you tuck, uh... Oh god, I'm trying to think of... I'm trying to think of like a medium that has like the world's most goofiest mascots, right? You just tuck all those fucking... If you tuck a member of each and every Looney Tune like main show, like you tuck Bugs Bunny and fucking Daffy Duck and Martian the Marvin, Porky Pig, and you put them all in a goddamn court case and they go like, prove a murder, it's pretty much what this game is. Fucking Bugs would be like, well, he must have taken a wrong turn at Albuquerque, okay? And then fucking Marvin the Martian would point his laser at everyone, going, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. How dare you accuse me? Cosplay is in a disguise. Huh? Sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, I understand you, Samugi, and no offense to cosplayers out there. Cosplay is a disguise. I guess. Well, like the, the thing of cosplay is to pretend to be the character. Am I right? <laughs> Isn't that just kind of disguising yourself? Well, you probably have a hard time believing me if I said so, so I'll just show you. Show me how. Come on, Kaede. Wait! Samugi so grabbed my hand and dragged me to the girls' bathroom on the first floor. Um. Are you gonna punch me or tie me up? Hey now! Hey now, there's no way I'd do a thing like that. Now hurry up and take off your clothes. Huh? What? Uh... Well, because I'm gonna cosplay as you, of course. Now give me your clothes. Huh? Uh, but right? come on, hurry up. Huh? What? I slowly undressed and handed my clothes to Samugi. After telling me to look the other way, I waited while she changed into my clothes. Yeah. Okay, now you can look. Oh God. Huh? You turned into one of the Devil Sisters from, from fucking Panty and Stalking. A gross, bumpy rash had spread across Smoogie's body. Hi. Hi. This isn't cosplay of the spiky-headed underling of a certain space emperor. This is Cosplot, an allergic reaction that happens when I dress up as real people. This is the price for my power. 
my cosplay. I like the I like the Full Metal Alchemist reference there. <laughs> uh, okay, I get it. Change out of my clothes already. Okay. We exchanged our clothes and returned to the library where Suichi was waiting. <laughs> oh god, Kaede. <laughs> She's scarred for life. What happened? Kaede, what's wrong? Uh... Samugi couldn't have disguised herself. Yeah. You understand since you saw the cosplay, right? Cosplay is love. You're right. You breathe life into a character. It's almost like you're summoning them from fiction into the real world, like an oracle channeling the gods. Um... That's why I can cosplay various characters from across a wide world of fiction. But it's impossible to cosplay as someone who extends, who extends, extends, exists in the real world. Because that's not cosplay, it's just impersonating someone. I really didn't need... So, by that logic, can you cosplay someone from a live action series? What about a live action series that's based off of, uh, you know, a fiction series that's based off of non-fiction? Can you do that? Because technically, they exist in the real world. Hmm. These questions must be answered. I really don't need that long explanation. That's not good. Huh? This chime. You bastards! Time for the long-awaited class trial. Oh god, already? No, it's not. We're just announcing that the photos have all have been ready. Don't interrupt me. Anyways, I'll be waiting at the warehouse. Hey, does my face look weird to you? Does my face always look this weird? What if it's a cartoon of a real person? I'm trying to think. Cartoon of a real person that that's like nonfiction, like our friend Martin. <laughs> I I gotta say, growing up in a in a ghetto neighborhood and elementary time, whenever we had assemblies or something and we couldn't go to class, just throw on our friend Martin because that's what <laughs> that's what the little ghetto children love. I have to say, I do love that movie though. That movie has a warm place in my heart in my heart our friend Martin oh I love it they made a cartoon about Martin Luther King jr. it was great did you hear that Suichi the pictures finally been developed come on let's go oh, wait Kaede I ran as fast as I could to the school warehouse I couldn't stay put knowing that the truth was so close at hand I ran a full sprint to the warehouse. Wait! Uh, Kaede, we shouldn't get so worked up. Please. I can't help it. We're so close to learning the truth. We're gonna find out who the mastermind is. Rise and shine, Earth sign. Oh, you came. We're intruding. Sure did. I came to see you twos. <laughs> you are. <laughs> You're as lovely as always. Aww. Aww. Mon Monosuke, you're such a flirt. Ah, oh, may I join you for a drink? What are you saying? Drink as much as you want. I've got cash to burn. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Excuse me. Can we get a bottle here? <laughs> this is great. Oh, How long are you guys gonna do this? Mm. And take these. Oh god, what happened to you? Mm. It's all the photos. And they're separated in envelopes for each camera. Use them to take that bastard down. It's all up to you now. Dumbass. I'm so rich. What's a journalist gonna do about it? Nothing. What's that? But, by the way, Monofi wanted to get out of here after your shift ends. I want a fancy steak dinner. What, what the fuck is going on right now? What's your name and age? Home district? Salary? Do you have another job? That was weird. Uh, uh, Anyways, look like we have the pictures now. Yeah. Yeah, finally. 
Oh god. They're all here. Um Katie, are those the developed photos? Right? The carpet should be in those photos, right? <laughs> How exciting. Where the fuck have you been this whole entire time? I want to see the dumb look on the culprit's face. Alright, All right, let's take a look. Um, let's look at the photos taken by the camera near the front entrance first. The envelope that says front entrance has a total of four pictures. Let's see the first. Okay. This is when we arrived at the library, so we took a picture then. Yeah, this was right before we found Antaro's body. That's a pretty bad picture of me, but don't focus on it too much, okay? But of course. Is it me or does, uh... <laughs> does Tenko's skin seem darker than before? <laughs> Rest assured, we do not care. Mm. Alright, let's go to the next one. Oh, look at Angie, she looks so happy. Huh. This? It's a picture of us running into the library after we heard Tenko scream. It doesn't help at all. Hurry up and show us the next one. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, look at Mew! <laughs> She's like, what the fuck? And Ryoma's just like, I don't care. <laughs> Someone's dead? Whatever. This is everyone else who came to the library after the body discovery announcement. Yeah. Everyone's picture here. Everyone's pictured here, myself included, uh, was on the way to the basement. So, we got there a bit late. You know... Hey, these are all the pictures of when we found the body. Hmm. It's one more photo of the front entrance, correct? Yeah, yeah let's take a look at that. <laughs> Sweet! Oh. oh, sorry. It looks like I tripped one of the sensors when I was removing the camera. What are you saying? Uh... And this picture doesn't seem to have any clues. Well, that's only one camera. Camera position at the front entrance has only snapped these four pictures. Uh, neither Rantaro nor anyone else could be the culprit or are in these photos. Did they both enter through the back door then? Let's examine the photos taken by the camera near the rear. Only two photos were taken by that camera. Let's see the first. Rantaro! So Rantaro went... Went in through the rear entrance. Perhaps so no one would see him. I, see. I thought it might be possible he was moved to the library after being murdered. But that doesn't appear to be the case. If so. so that means he was killed in the library after going there on his own will. Yeah. Anyways, let's move to the next one. Maybe it'll show the mastermind. Sweetie! Huh? Sorry. I'm sorry, me again. This is from when I was removing the camera. What an attention hog. No. He had no choice to remove the cameras. He had to be close to the sensors. Um. That's all that's all for the rear entrance. Just these two photos. Huh? huh? Culprit not in rear entrance photo either. Why? What does this mean? It's not in either the front or near rear. Eh. I'm gonna read that again because I just had like a stroke. <laughs> what does that mean? They're not in either the front or rear entrance pictures. Yeah, it's pretty odd. Why isn't there a picture of the mastermind entering? Hey, hey Suichi, don't you think that's weird? Uh, um... Let's look at the picture from the hidden door camera. It might tell us something. Yeah. Oh yeah, the camera should have captured the moment the mastermind opened the door. I hope that was the case as I removed the photo from the envelope. There were two photos, the first one was... Oh, Rentaro. Hmm. But if Rentaro was the one who moved the bookcase then, he must have known about the hidden door. Could it be? Could the culprit have gone into the hidden room? I see. Yes, that is possible. Do you understand? For now, let's see the next picture. There's one remaining, isn't there? Yeah, yeah here it is. Huh? Huh? What what's Rentaro doing? Yeah. Looks like he's reaching for the camera. Maybe he was trying to remove it. Did he notice something while I was... <clears throat> wow, I need a drink of water. Getting that point where my throat is getting sore. Huh, I did notice something while I was removing the camera. 
The security sensor for this camera was switched off. In that case, this photo was likely taken just before the sensors were turned off. But that would mean that Rentaro noticed it. He saw our hidden cameras. By the way, moving the bookcase triggers the sensors, which is which in turn activates the camera, right? The bookcase appears to have already been moved. So why did the sensor activate? I don't get it. Who cares? What happened to the culprit? How come they're not in any of the photos? It seems as if... This last photo must have been taken shortly before he was killed. However... And so, then the culprit should be pictured right behind him in this photo. Then why is the culprit nowhere to be seen? Hidden door photo. That's all the photos. So we gain no new clues. We still don't know who the culprit is. <laughs> what a fucking waste. Why? Did she really develop all the photos? Maybe she got rid of ones that showed the culprit. How rude. I developed all the film that I was given. I swear by my almighty daddy that I did. Those are all the photos from the hidden cameras. So relax and get to the ducting. These are seri seriously all the pictures? You gotta be kidding me! Culprit's not in any of them. I don't know. I mean, if one of us was the culprit, then technically they are in the photos. If the culprit didn't go to the library, then how'd they kill Rentaro? Uh, so this must have been what they call the perfect crime. Huh? Perfect crime? Oh my god, my stomach hurts. I'm so hungry. I'm disappointed. Oh man. I've only been slacking off because I thought those photos would reveal the culprit. Uh, no. You should have been helping us investigate. By the way. Oh, by the way. Hmm. Rontaro had his monopad the whole time, didn't he? Do you think do you think anything was in it? I do not agree. His student handbook did not contain much in the way of uh print. Yeah. Words. Big words. Can't pronounce them. Way of pertain. <clears throat> It didn't have evidence, okay? Well, I doubt it has anything to do with the case. He simply had his monopad with him. Okay. I expect his monopad, but I didn't find anything suspicious about it. Oh man. Oh, man. So it's nothing to do with the case? How confusing. Are you okay? Kaede, you all right? Uh... Why aren't there in? Why aren't they in the pictures? If the mastermind had these photos. Mas had these photos? Let me try this. If the mastermind had these wait. If the mastermind had these photos, it would have solved everything. What? <laughs> Is that supposed to be what that says? So why the hell? Uh, um... Kaede. Oh shit. Is it time? It might be time. The class trial! Please assemble in front of the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard. Remember that red door surrounded by plants? It's just on the other side. Actually, no, I do not remember the red door surrounded by plants. From there, you'll be escorted to a delightful class trial. <laughs> See you all there. I don't like this Monokuma voice actor. I like the original one. <laughs> huh? Time already. That is correct. It seems we have no choice but to continue this discussion at the class trial. <sighs> I don't want to go. Well, you got to. What a pain. Me neither. What a pain. <laughs> what, what are you scared about? An NPC like you has nothing to be scared of. No. It'll be fine. I just feel like my back is up against a wall. Yeah. We just need to expose the mastermind in this class trial. Yeah, that's right. And then everything including this killing game will come to an end. That's right. Yes, that's right. Got it. Let's find this mastermind. And if it's a man, let's beat him to death. Jeez. Isn't beating him to death going a bit far? Wait, I just realized, does Ryoma have a fucking chain around his ankle? <laughs> Everyone follow Monokuma's instructions and walk towards the courtyard. He does have a chain around his ankle. Suichi? What's up? Are you okay? Kaede, really, are you okay? Sorry. 
I'm sorry. I didn't mean to worry you. I'm just in shock. I really thought that everything would be resolved once we looked at the photos. But I can't give up. I can still expose the mastermind in this class trial. And then everything, even this killing game, will come to an end. Yeah. I'm okay now, Suiji. Right? Let's go. It's the red door in the courtyard, right? Uh, fast travel? A stylish tie. Both men and women can wear it. Hmm. Nice to know. Uh, fast travel, right? We can do that? How do I... Aha! What, what's the button to fast travel? I don't... Oh, I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't think I can fast travel. Can I... Yeah, no, I can't. Okay, well, guess I gotta do it manually. Alright. Uh, how the hell do I get to, uh, whatchamacallit? Let's see. This way. Here's the front entrance. I remember when Danganronpa 2 was like, Hey guys, we're gonna have the game be in 2D, and we're gonna say goodbye to the first person exploration. That was a big fucking mistake. Oh my god, it looked that game looked so weird. <laughs> With like the 2D side-scrolling thing. Oh. But I mean, at the same time, you can't really let us walk around a whole entire island in first person like that, so... It made sense. That's a Muse work Workshop, right? It looks pretty cool, I like it. This red door, right? Hey. Kaede, I have one more question. Hmm. Do you really think it's one of us? Not just the culprit, but the mastermind as well. Huh? Huh? Isn't that what you told me, Suichi? Uh, okay. Yeah, but... It's just... That was only my deduction. I don't know if I should trust that. Hmm. Well, I don't know if it's true either. But that's why we need to confirm it. If you just dismiss a possibility and look the other way without confirming anything... Yeah. Then you're just turning your back on the truth. What's the matter? What's the matter, Suichi? You seem so sure of yourself during the investigation. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go. I'm sure they're waiting for us inside. And then we cut him in half. He is dead now. Oh my god. Monokuma. <laughs> Was that statue always there? What? So, this is the Shrine of Judgment. Everyone! Careful, everyone. If bad thing happened, get behind Gonta. Then give me a piggyback ride. Come on, carry me. Bitch. Oh my god, you're so fucking annoying. So, are we doing the class trial thing or what? No. No, Monokuma made it sound like we'd be guided somewhere from here. That is troubling. But Monokuma is nowhere to be seen. What's going on? Uh... This Monokuma statue gives us such a weird vibe. Okay. Huh? What? What the fuck did I just witness? Was there a reason for the statue to crush the trophy in its hand or cup or wherever it was? Is this an elevator? This is... Does he want us to board it? I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't... I don't wanna. I don't do scary rides. I don't wanna go on it either. Hmm. Stay behind then. Though I'm sure they'll just be worse for you in the end. I guess. Yeah, that's true. I know. If you desire. However, if anyone wishes to run away, I will cooperate as well. No. That's probably not a good idea. There's nowhere to run. As long as the end wall exists, escape's not an option. Hey. It'll be fine. Let's all work together. Remember our promise? We're gonna escape this place and remain good friends afterwards. I'll get us out of here. So let's do it. I'm sure it'll be alright. Mm -hmm. Because we make such an incredible team. Huh. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to call myself a man if I was still scared hearing a girl say that. Bring it. Luminary I'll show them how I, Kaito Momoto, Luminary of the Stars, live. <laughs> Do you mean die? Dumbass. 
Don't say something all ominous like that. I'm ready! We've come so far already. We just gotta do it. So let's do it. Okay. We have no choice. We can't turn back now. Determined, we all step forward. Even as we walked towards the elevator, I was shaking with anxious dread. But I kept going. Because I decided to fight. And then, everyone had boarded the elevator. <laughs> Does he do that every time to open the elevator? I don't know. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, that's super cool. It's actually an elevator. What the fuck did you think it was, Kokichi? Even so, this elevator is going pretty far down. <laughs> We're falling. I wonder how far we will plummet. Are you okay, Kyo? What, what, what's that about? Uh, I suddenly have to go to the bathroom real bad. Too much info. By all means, go ahead. Too much info. Of course. A robot wouldn't understand how inappropriate that is. I agree, Kogiji. As we waited to reach our destination, I whispered to Suichi. Um, Suichi? About that talk from before. What? I think everyone is afraid of learning the truth. But the people who are willing to find the truth are the ones who can decide their fate. If you never know the lies from the truth, then you can't choose a path. You won't even know you're on a path. So, fight for the truth. Even if it is frightening, I know you can do this. If you're scared, borrow the strength of others who will be there to help you. Think of everyone you're helping, and let that be your strength. I used to be like you. Before a piano concert, I was always so nervous that I thought I would vomit. But then I would remember all the people I've made smile with my performances. Kaede. All right, let's go. It's better to end bad stuff like this as soon as possible. Those words were mainly for me. To inspire me, so I wouldn't turn back. After some time, the elevator finally came to a halt. The door slowly opened to reveal what awaited us on the other side. Oh, this is fancy. Why, hello, Bear! Welcome to the class trial. Yay! Oh boy, class trial is finally starting. Finally, a game that actually feels like a game. Bingo! Just as prophecy foretold. Got it? Listen up, from here on, things are gonna get so violent you wish you turned back. No way! That's not true. There won't be any gory or violent scenes, I'm positive. This is... This is an authentic replica of a courtroom. <laughs> what bad taste. Oh, jeez! Why are you making us do this? Is this fun for you? Psycho! Of course! <laughs> Putting strangers in life or death scenarios is the best entertainment. You're the worst of the worst! Are you seriously the worst? <laughs> worst or not... Those who have fun are the real winners in this world. It doesn't matter what terrible things you do or or what's done to you, as long as you're having fun. Oh, I see. Wow, this is so sickening, it's almost refreshing. So, how do we get this game going? Well now. There are there are podiums over there. Please stand behind the one with your name on it. Following Monokuma's instructions, we headed to our respective podiums. As I walked towards my podium, an image of his body flashed in my mind. Rantaro. He died without knowing his own ultimate talent. No, he was murdered by some horrible lowlife scumbag. I'll never forgive his killer. That's why. We're going to expose the mash mine and end this killing game. That's all I can do for Rantaro now. His killer is in this room with us. The mastermind who's controlling Monokuma and forcing us to play this killing game. I don't think I'll ever be fully prepared to find out who that person is. But we have to find out who it is, so we can lift our suspicions of each other. So we can... end this killing game. 
That's why I'm here. I can't show any fear here. I must fight till the bitter end. I will face this life or death class trial. Ooh, I got goosebumps. <laughs> that made me feel good. I like it. All right, trial time. It's been, what, three years since I did this trial? And this is the only trial I did in the game, so let's see if I remember anything at all. Change difficulty? Fuck it. I'm not sure how much that would change, but it might change something. Uh... What the hell is this? Cool and compo- what? When did I get these? Did I always have these? Low speed of reticle affected during non- okay. Increased speed of reticle. Trigger happy decreases delay after using truth bullets, blades. Okay. Oh, this is a lot. This is a lot. Oh god, how many- Okay, I have- Skill list, 18. Am I buying this stuff? Or am I using- What is this? Panic time? Debate? What? What the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this seems like a lot. Okay, increases focus a little. Affected during all parts of class trial. Can't be combined with menacing fo- Menacing focus? Okay. Maximum influence uh, effect during all trial. Influence. What's influence? Oh, influence is health. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. Okay, so you buy the skills with that and then you set them. Alright, got it, got it. Uh, let's see. Cool and compose. Makes the reticle shake less, affected during non-stop and mass panic debates. Can't be combined with tranquility. Upshift, increases reticle, trigger happy, delay. Okay. Focus gauge range slower while concentrating during fever time. Uh. Huh. First strike, keyword in the, in the speaker. Wait, what? The key word in the first speaker's argument will be shown from the start. Affected during debate. Just the peak, the entire screen will light up more frequently, affecting during... What? What? During Hangman's Gambit? Clear mind. Increases the amount of letter cube. Letter cubes? <laughs> what? Okay. Some of these things, I don't even know what they are. Refute? Oh, God. Makes it easier to push the opponent back. Safety first. Removes the time penalty for breaking a non-erasable piece. What? How many... How... Argument? 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 <laughs> the tension gauge will increase at a faster rate. I have no idea. <laughs> what? Okay, let's just go with basics for now. How about that? Uh, chemistry increases the amount of influence recovered. Alright, and then let's go with upshift. Okay, so... Uh... Okay, I don't have enough for upshift. I think that'll be fine, though. Okay. Change tab, remove... Okay, cool. Is that set? That's all set in stone? Alright, cool. Uh, view handbook... Okay. Truth bullets and... Alright, cool. Nothing crazy, it seems. I set the difficulty higher, so I don't I don't know how much that would fuck me over, but let's do it! Class trial time. <laughs> now then, let's begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. I forgot that during the class trial I don't have to talk that much because most of it is voice. Also, this UI looks amazing. Trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Vote correctly, and only the black are in Taro's X out. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides 
the Blackened, and that person will graduate from this academy. Also, refusing to vote will result in your death. So you better vote for someone. Now let's get this crazy awesome, crazy awesome trial underway. So, it's starting, huh? <laughs> oh man, I haven't been in a trial in like forever. Oh, so you have experience with trials? He's lying, don't believe him. You know what, I need a picture from fucking, what, what, what is the movie, Memento? Where you just take the picture out and I need a picture of Kokichi on that picture and it says, don't believe his lies. <laughs> yeah, since I'm a leader of evil and stuff, <laughs> I've done a lot of bad things. Crazy awesome murder trial. So, what are we supposed to do? Where do we even start? Gonta never done trial before. Not sure where to begin. First, let's breathe in. And breathe out. We need to remember our no, no, no's. Our what? No pushing, no running, no talking. We need to talk. But communication is the foundation of any discussion. We should not worry about our procedure, especially since this is not a normal trial. Each of us will be serving as a potential culprit, lawyer, prosecutor, and jury member. Damn, why you gotta put it like that, Kurumi? You're right, but damn. Let us proceed with that in mind, shall we? Then might I offer the first topic? You need to crawl back into whatever hole from hell that you came. Don't fucking get ahead of us. You trying to start some shit? C calm down. How about we listen first? Atua has spoken. He says it is vital that we hear everyone's testimony. Angie, I feel like you're not going to be very helpful during this trial. I'm a good listener because my ears are clean. Once, I cleaned them so hard, they bled. Too much info. Alright, one thing I want to do real quick. I want to head to set. I just want to make sure that the... That the, uh... Audio for the voices is up. Voice is at max, tech speed. Let me know if the let me know if the game sounds too quiet to hear their voices. I'll begin the conversation then. There's something I found curious. Why, I wonder, didn't the culprit take advantage of the first blood perk? I thought that was strange too. I bet they just wanted to do a class trial real bad. Then Monokuma's the culprit, Dadoi! Cause this whole class trial was his idea. Fucking Dadoi! <laughs> oh yeah! Easy peasy! I'm a fucking genius! Wait, is it even possible for Monokuma to be the culprit? Of course not! I would never do anything to you guys directly. Oh yeah? All right, whatever. I played the first Danganronpa game. Liar. Even if you can't, it's a different story for the person controlling you, right? Hmm? Is it possible that the mastermind controlling Monokuma killed Rantaro? Mastermind? What's that? I don't know any mastermind. You never heard of him. Don't play dumb with me. Who's the mastermind controlling you guys? The mastermind, huh? Odds are, it's one of us. Oh, you said it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why it's funny to me that he's just standing on a fucking... You know, he has a step ladder. I mean, he needs one. But, I don't know why. It's Keyblade. I don't know why I find it funny. Everyone else thinks so, too. Does everyone really think that? We'll get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Before we determine the mastermind, we must uncover the culprit. Then we could start by determining the sequence of events. Let's take a closer look at the circumstances of Rantaro's death. Speak up, Suichi, for fuck's sake. Can barely hear you. Gonta agrees with Shuichi. After all, Shuichi is ultimate detective. Then let us start by reviewing the incident. Alright, let's do this. We can find the mastermind if we work together. 
When the class trial is over, we'll know exactly who this mastermind is. Ah, and now, the class trial has begun. As things progress during- why I say it like that, progress? Ugh. As things progress during each class trial, non-stop debate will occur. During non-stop debates, characters will speak one after another without pause. It's up to you to unearth any lies or contradictions in their statements. You'll have to use the truth bullets you gather to refute what they say. Any relevant truth bullet you found during the investigation will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the L button, aim reticle, and fire with triangle. Aim for the gold words displayed in their statements. Those are the weak spots. There's a chance that it lies or contradictions are hiding within those weak points. But remember, you may not be able to refute them all, and you have to use the right truth bullet. Compare everyone's statement to the truth bullets you have, and shoot your truth bullet at the proper weak spot. Note that if you run out of time, you'll automatically fail, so please be careful. Oh, I almost forgot the new element. During the class trial, you can concentrate to make time slow down. This will also reveal a small red dot within weak spots called the V-point. What? If you hit that with the correct truth bullet, you'll get an awesome V-counter. Bullseye. V-counters really improve your score and number- Okay, so he just proves the score. Okay, cool. During the non-stop debate, we'll bring up controls. Give them a look. Oh, the podium's moved now. Hmm. Okay. Rantaro's body was found just before the time limit, right? He was killed in the library. Hmm. Rantaro was alone in the library. The culprit could have snuck up on him. What was he even doing in the library anyway? He was opening that moving bookcase for one reason. Okay. He knew about the hidden door. That means Rantaro was masterminding this whole thing. All right. There's definitely a contradiction in one of the statements. If I present the right evidence, I can blow the contradiction. Body was found. All right. Mastermind. Just the time limit, right? He was killed in the library. Moving bookcase. File. Rantaro was alone in the library. All right, let's see. When a bookcase is far to the left, the library after it's been moved automatically shuts itself. Da, 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 da. I think this is the one we're going to use. Bookcase moved back to its original spot. Moving bookcase. Our other stuff that we have is Monokuma file. I don't think that's going to help at this point. Rantaro's... Hmm. What are the other ones we had? The culprit could Bloody shot put and belongings. I'm gonna go with belongings actually. He doesn't have a key card with him. That moving bookcase for one reason. Cause he knew about the hidden door. That means Rantaro was masterminding this whole thing. No, that's wrong. Awesome. Wait a minute. I don't think Rantaro was the mastermind. Huh? Why? Because Rantaro didn't have the card key to open the hidden door. You'd think the Mastermind would have that card key on him, right? Perhaps the culprit took the card key after killing Rantaro. But none of the pictures show Rantaro holding the card key. So God, Switcher, you're so quiet. The key at all. Also, if the Mastermind had died there, this killing game would have already ended. You are correct. The possibility of him being the Mastermind... I'm gonna up the low. volume on this. You know what? I feel like it's too low. <laughs> Tell me, if, tell me if the game gets too loud. I'm gonna up it by three decimals. Then how Rantaro know about Hidden Door? Maybe he stumbled across it in the library. You know, like how Shuichi did? Or maybe the Mastermind told him about it. What? Why would the Mastermind tell him that? Maybe they were in cahoots. To lure Rantaro to the library and kill him. You have a cigarette in your hand? Does that mean the culprit and the mastermind are one and the same? Hmm. That does seem plausible. It's very likely the mastermind knew about Kaede and Shuichi's trap. The mastermind knew about our trap this whole time? This case may have become the perfect crime thanks to your hidden cameras. 
The Mastermind knew about your trap and exploited it to commit their crime. So after the Mastermind lured Rantaro and murdered his ass, <laughs> they used Kai Idiot and Puichi's hidden cameras to arrange the perfect crime. All right, Mew. All right. What the hell is that about? Did they really take advantage of our trap, though? Is this really the perfect crime? Are we in an unsolvable mystery? I guess this is a dead end. Wait, don't give up that easily. We already know the culprit is the mastermind. We gotta work together to find the mastermind. Then we can end this killing game. You looking for the mastermind? I'm looking for the mega mind. That was a lame joke. You yeah. All right, let's continue. <laughs> But you still think one of us is the mastermind. Yes, and I know that's a horrible thought. But that's why I want to end all the terrible things happening to us. I'll defeat the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. I'll... I'll even use this class trial to do that. Kaede. <laughs> wow, looks like you're determined to face even a cold hard truth. Then here it comes, the cold hard truth. I don't believe you. Huh? I already figured out who killed Rantaro. W what? Why are you surprised? Because if he's right, that would make this the fastest class trial to date. How fast was the previous record anyway? Real fast, let me tell you. <laughs> Real fast. He was like the leaf on the wind. Now he's won with the win. Yeah, I think about him this time of year, too. The way he soared through the enemy fleet all badass. Just to die like a little punk. Huh? You weirdos. This is an important conversation. Kokichi, are you serious about knowing who the culprit is? Yep. So... We all agree that the culprit knew about Kaede and Shuichi's trap, right? No shit! That's why they're not in any of the pictures. So who is it? So whoever knew about the hidden cameras is the culprit. So who the hell is it? It's you! Oh. What? <laughs> you made the cameras used for the trap, right? Obviously, whoever made the cameras knew about the blind spots. Before breakfast was the only time someone would be able to sneak by. Uh, that doesn't make sense. She has an alibi, and uh, and she wasn't there when they. She may have made the cameras, but she wasn't there during the placements. What the hell brought this on all of a sudden? Just designed the cameras. I didn't know they'd get set up in the library. If someone asked me to make cameras, I'd totally ask what they were for. How come you never asked what the cameras were for? Huh? Huh? I I, I pulled it all night or making them and afterward just sorta of passed out. You're getting awfully worked up. Look at you. You're sweating. I'm always wet. Whoa! Feeling extra sensitive, like these big boobs of mine. <laughs> Whoa! For someone so aggressive, you're kind of a wimp, huh, me? Come on, warm me up the hook already. D -d Do you want money? Is that it? Your pathetic excuses are consistent with those of a common male criminal. All right, the sexism was not needed, Tenko. Thank you very much. Everyone's starting to suspect Mew, but is that really okay? From here on, out of the blue... Wait, what? My bad. From here on, blue-colored weak spots will appear. If we call the weak... Uh, if we call the weak spots... Uh, whatever, fuck, whatever. In these blue-colored weak spots, they'll be called agree points. When shooting agree points with truth bullets, if, uh, flip your way of thinking. Instead of arguing, you will agree with them. Please fire the truth bullet at the correct one. When your truth bullets merge with the statement, you will complete each other's resulting in the consent. From from now, you must infer. Okay, whatever. You can also V consent. Cool. 
Thank you at this time. Respectfully. System. Okay, what do we got? Bookcase, card reader. Why don't you just admit it already? You're the culprit, aren't you, Mew? No way! That's not possible! <laughs> they moved her to the center. Oh so my you god. Nothing about the trap in the library? I'm telling you, I had no idea. Not like it matters. Because I never went to the library, okay? Uh. The person who made the cameras would have known their blind spots, too. Yeah, well, I didn't make the cameras either. Wait, what? Shaking up that she's starting to dig herself deeper in, in her own lies. Okay, Why well, there's only two points already? to agree with. You're the culprit, aren't you, Mew? No way! That's not possible! Hmm. See. Automatically shuts itself, original place. Okay, let's move in the original place right before Kaede and Suichi found the body. Alright. Card reader dust. The dust Suichi planted. Track investigation. Uh, what was Kibo's account? Oh. Oh yeah, this is the alibi. Oh. So you knew nothing about the trap in the library? I'm telling you, I had no idea. I forgot how to speed up. Not like it matters. Because I never went to the library, okay? I agree with that. Did I hit the V point? I don't think Mew went to the basement either, right, Q? Of course she didn't. Mew was in the dining hall during the murder. <laughs> Why does he sound like he sounds like one of those pompous nerdy kids, you know what I mean? Like just stereotypical, it's like, of course she didn't. <laughs> I saw her there while dining on what I thought would be my last supper. The pasta on the menu tastes like a lonely old lady eating her grandkids' birthday cake. Don't feel bad for her. She got to eat her tasty grandkid on his birthday. What? That's too sad to make sense. That's pops for you. So there you have it. Muse alibi. And slug? Why didn't you say so earlier? Good job, Kaede. Guess I shouldn't have judged you by your lackluster rack. Kaede has bigger ones than you. What Gilgamesh Doesn't level she? condescension? But which Grey of War are you from? Wow, another reference we don't get. <laughs> you must be a hardcore loser. Oh shit. <laughs> Hit her where it hurts. Oh, sorry. Sometimes my hobbies just sort of slip in. Hey, don't be acting all cocky, Kokichi. You put my ass in the hot seat earlier. She's back with a vengeance. How about you just keep your fucking mouth shut, you lying little abortion? Oh, okay. What? That, that was really uncalled for. I only said that to find the culprit. <laughs> <laughs> You're so mean! I can't take this game seriously. Hey, I feel a lot better now. Cool your jets, kid. Samugi and Kirumi were both in the dining hall as well. I just love how Angie's just having the time of her life there. We can dismiss those four as potential culprits if they were together the entire time. No, not the entire time. At one point, Samugi went to the restroom. Oh. So you brought that up after all. It's true. I went to the restroom closest to the dining hall. Oh? Did I hear that right? The restroom, you say? Alright, calm down, Monokuba, you fucking perv. Excellent! I was waiting for this moment. I'm getting so excited right now! Ew! Why? Did you take a firm dump? Or was it a soft one? Ugh! Why are you assuming she was dropping a deuce in there? But I really did just go to the restroom, not the basement, you know? Also, I don't think I was there long enough to be suspicious, right? You're the ultimate cosplayer, though. You could have just disguised yourself as someone else while you were out. Disguised? No, no! I don't do disguises. I don't think that's possible, and I know the reason why. 
she has her cospox. I get it. Sumugi can only cosplay as fictional characters. That's what cosplay is supposed to be in the first place. Lately, some people prefer to cosplay as non-fictional characters, which is unforgivable. What demon did I just unlock? It's so unforgivable that I break out in cospox if I even attempt it. Yeah, the cospox was pretty gross. I see. If that's the case, then there's no way you could have been in disguise. Sorry about that, Samugi. I just thought it was something to check. Oh no, it's fine. I'm not bothered by it at all. I don't know, you look pretty bothered by it. Aww, Samugi is so nice. She's way better than you. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> Getting back on topic, we now have alibis for the people in the dining hall. So we know that Kirumi, Samugi, Miu, and Kyo can't be the culprit. Congratulations to the four of you. You can all leave now. Huh? Can they? So what about the swines who went to the basement? They're all suspicious, right? Which of us went to the basement? Why, well, when <laughs> Why is he touching himself when he says that? He's like, Wh which of us went to the, mm, the basement? Mm. Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Kimiko, Angie, and Rantaro. So, seven people in total. One of those people is a ghost now. So the culprit is among those seven? Ha <laughs> ha! But of course! Why are you laughing? That includes you too! Excluding Rantaro, one of the six people who headed to the basement. Is the mastermind of the killing game? The person who makes us endure all these terrible things. Why did the screen go blurry? Why not torture the truth out of them? It would be the quickest method. All right, Kyo. Wait, please, no torture. My tolerance for pain is actually really, really low. I'll tell you everything, anything. Just please don't hurt me. Aren't you a fighter? Please just tell us what happened. If the culprit is among that group, then wouldn't Maki be the most suspicious? Just look at her. She could definitely kill someone. She does look like someone who would murder somebody. I'm not gonna lie about that. But you're fucked up, Kokichi. How dare you? That's my... Hush your tongue. That is my lady. Stop being so stupid. The culprit could easily be anyone. Like Kaito. What are you talking about? There's no way I'm the culprit! Who's the culprit? Who? Gonta is gentlemen. Gentlemen not hurt people. It's not me either. Murder sounds like way too much work. I have an alibi. No the fuck you don't. Who's the culprit for fuck's sake? We need to calm down. If everyone talks all at once, then we can't discuss anything. It's alright, Kaede. We just need to listen to everyone's statements. You can do this, right? Listen to everyone's statements. That's right. I can pick out everyone's voices as they talk over each other. I only left because I was invited. Why don't you ask the shady guy who invited me? What? You mean me? But I just said it wasn't me! Don't thrust the blame onto me! You degenerate males and your thrusting! Ugh! I'm not a bad girl, really. If you don't believe me, ask my mommy. That would be used in like a fucking <laughs> in a rap verse now. Me, I have an alibi. I'm I'm an an too. Oh, okay. Oh no, all three people are talking at once. Everyone's everyone's clamoring to prove their innocence. There's a panic in the courtroom. Oh, that's right. It's time to now be thrown into the mass panic debate. During the mass panic, this is new. Oh god. Three debates will happen at the same- Oh, fuck. But remain calm. It's just like a non-stop debate. You're just hearing triple the opinions. And the conversation you really want to hear at. Okay. Sort through everyone's <laughs> opinions. Find the liar contradictions. You can also V-counter. Sorry to take up your time. Thanks for being a sport about it. 
Okay, that's interesting. This is a new mechanic. Receiver, library event, Maki's count. Oh shit. Uh, uh, what? There was only one contradiction, which was just Rentaro. I didn't even see what he fully said. And Maki's account is the game room. Uh, go to Rentaro left before the bathroom. I think that's what we're going to be using. So how do I speed this up again? I know there's a way to speed this. I don't remember. Wait a minute, Kaito. Wasn't there someone else who disappeared other than Rantaro? That idiot already forgot. Gonta also left during the strategy meeting. Yeah, he locked himself up in the AV room and... Hey, wait a sec! Idiot! Is that right, Gonta? Y yes Gonta watched Bug Movie to fill Gonta with fight! So the more Gonta I look at Gonta, the more I think about, uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly. <laughs> Are you trying to imagine yourself as a huge mantis with swords for hands? Oh, come on! How is looking at bugs supposed to put you in a fighting mood? A ah, terrible idea! Like putting ketchup on a hot dog! I don't put ketchup on my hot dogs, because I'm not a basic bitch, but that's not a bad idea. But why did you lock the door? Because going to need focus. Hmm? Everyone suspect Gonta? Why? Because you don't have an alibi! Oh, Gonta just need alibi? Okay, Gonta will get alibi! Just tell Gonta where to find it! The way this debate is going, this will be difficult to refute. <laughs> what will you do? Without an alibi, we'll all choose you. Gonta. Please understand that in order to reveal the truth, you must also participate. Why the fuck is everybody so quiet now? What the hell happened? <laughs> what? Why is the voice so quiet? But, going to not sure where to start. You just have to tell everyone why you couldn't have done it. If you're not the culprit and we all vote for you, then we're dead too. Our lives are riding on your word. You got this. You don't want to disappoint that face. That's a face you don't want to disappoint. Okay. Gonto will try. For everyone's sake. <laughs> oh, this debate is getting loud and heated. Kaede, I think your idea of loud and my idea of loud are two different louds, because it sounds like everyone's voice got quieter for some reason. But if I just focus on everyone's voice, then hopefully we can expose the mastermind. Gonta not culprit! Cause to leave AV room, Gonta must walk through game room where friends are. To even reach hallway. If you can't get to the hallway, you can't go to the library. AV room's got more than one entrance though. There should have been a door facing the hallway too. Yeah, the sliding door. Across from the rear entrance, correct? With that sliding door. Uh-huh. You can quickly go in and out of the library. Then okay, well, I found my contradiction. Somehow ...and killed Rantaro. Well, that's settled. Let's go home. Is not settled? Gonta not culprit! 
All right. There we go. That's the button. The sliding door across from the rear entrance, correct? With that sliding door. There we go. No, that's wrong. It's not possible to use the sliding door. You saying I'm wrong? You got a lot of ass to be contradicting me. Okay. Did you mean to say sass? I am um, think you left out an S. Nah, nah, I know what she meant. The sliding door always jams. You're only able to open it a crack. The only part of your body that would be able to go through is your arm. And there was no indication of the door being forced. There was dust on the track. In other words, the chance they came out the sliding door is zero. Uh, I see. So I made a mistake. How rare. Mew, I love you, but you know that's a lie. It's not that rare for you to make a mistake. Your entire existence is a mistake. Oh, <laughs> what? Vicious little... Oh, come on. If Gonta couldn't use the sliding door, then in order to get to the library... He'd have to go through the game room. But I didn't see him at all. See? Gonta tell you he not culprit. No. We cannot confirm that just yet. Huh? My apologies, Gonta. I do not mean to put you on the spot like this, but... Where are you going with this, Karimi? Because I promise to do my best, I will fulfill that responsibility. Uh, are you saying Gonta could still be the culprit? There is the possibility that Gonta killed Rantaro from the AV room. Huh? From the AV room? How? Aha! Uh -huh. I didn't know that was a possibility. Not only could he have killed Rantaro from the AV room, but also... He would not appear in any of the pictures from the cameras placed in the library. Whoa! Perfect! But wait, then how did Gota kill him? Huh, it's obvious to this glamorous girl genius. But maybe explain for these dimwits. Okay, Mew. First. I will explain the layouts of both the AV room and the library. What the fuck is this music popping off, by the way? <laughs> I love it. The sliding door in the AV room faces the rear door of the library. Because of this, it is possible for Gonta to have killed Rantara while he was in the AV room. Um, but how, though? In order for the murder to take place, the rear door of the library must be opened. Isn't that impossible? The AV room sliding door doesn't open, so you can't get into the hallway. If you cannot enter the hallway, how would you open the rear door to the library? Although you cannot fit your whole body through the sliding door, an arm would suffice. Okay. It would be possible if you used a particular item in the AV room. A particular item in the AV room? Uh, the screen, the roll-up screen. I get it. Is it the projector screen? That is correct. You can make a long pole if you roll up the screen. Okay. It would be possible to reach the library door with it. If oh. You use the rolled up screen to reach the library's rear door. Then you can open it. I still don't think that would make sense though. It's set If the cameras are set to detect motion, wouldn't they detect the door sliding open? More or less the see the pole moving? It's quite heavy, but that would not have been a problem for Gonta. Yeah, no problem for Gonta. Damn, Goto, way to incriminate yourself. Oh my, how honest. But if you open the library door, the camera would take your picture. Yeah. Uh, actually, the camera wouldn't be triggered just by opening the door. God damn it, Suichi. 
Shuichi and Kaede's pictures were like that as well. The shutter only went off once someone set foot into the room. Okay, so it was possible to open the library door, but where does that get us? Gonta still couldn't have gotten from the AV room to the library. Gonta did not enter the library. He killed Rantara while he was still in the AV room. If Gonta killed Rantara in the library while he was still in the AV room, then... So does that mean Gonta threw the shot put ball? <laughs> he just chucked it at him? You gotta have some pretty mean precision. Wait! Wait, I say! Why would anyone do something so crazy like throw a... Wait! That's actually not crazy at all! Throwing a shot put ball is totally normal! Thanks for that input, Tenko. Yes, the act of throwing a shot put ball could lead one to use it as a weapon. Even if a person couldn't fit through the space, a shot put ball certainly would. Rentaro's body was across from the AV room sliding door as well. As long as the rear door of the library was open, he would have been able to hit the victim. That's quite the distance, though. And that shot put ball was pretty heavy. Did you forget already? <laughs> Look how menacing he is. The heavy manhole cover. It would definitely be feasible for him to throw a shot put ball at his target. Yep, a walking talking Roomba can't compare to a mighty beast like Gonta. That Roomba remark is probably not about me, as I have a variety of custodial functions. I completely even forgot about Kibo. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck does a Roomba have to do that? It's like, oh yeah, cause Kibo, Kibo, cause Kibo can't couldn't lift the manhole cover. Well, Gonta, can you throw a shot put ball from that distance? Yes, probably. You're too honest, Gonta. You are very honest, actually. <laughs> You're so cool, Gonta. You could be the ultimate shot putter. I like her accent. I've heard enough. Gonta's the culprit. Wait! Gonta never hurt anyone! Not even insect! Gonta telling truth! Gentlemen never tell lies! Well, there you have it. What do you guys think? I would like to believe him, but without evidence, we cannot. If everyone's wrong, we'll never find the mastermind. I can't let that happen. I need to do my best to guide everyone on the right answer. Okay. <laughs> I love Gonta. Gonta is pretty cool. I like him. So we agree. Gonta's the culprit. Okay. Gonta not culprit. Honest. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. Going a little fast there. They picked up the pace. Uh, Monokuma file. Rentaro... But it was discovered, victim was stuck to blunt force trauma, back of the skull, resulting in cranial fractures. Okay, so... That's cool. Wait a minute. Yeah! Yeah, 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 no. Mail excuse. Rantaro's corpse in the AV room what the fuck is this effect? Do line up with one another. That's pretty cool. There are no obstacles in the way. That's wrong. No, that's wrong. It would have been impossible for Gonta to have thrown that shot from the AV room. If we remember correctly, in the picture, the door was open, and Rentaro would be ha he would have his back cover from that door. Because there was an obstacle between Rentaro and Gonta. Obstacle? The moving bookcase. When Rentaro was killed, it should have been open. Yup, that's our evidence. The bookcase door was open when he was killed. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what? Uh, you just shown it or evidence? Evidence? Where's the picture? Where's the picture? I guess we're just using this picture then, right? I get it. It's in this picture. Here, look. Yeah, that was the picture These I was looking two for. pictures were taken by the camera facing the moving bookcase. These photos were taken moments before Rantaro was killed. The bookcase door is completely open here, and then it closes automatically. So 
So by the time we entered the library, the door had already closed itself. Before Rantaro was killed, the bookcase door was open. Even if Gonta did throw the shot, it would have hit the bookcase instead. I see. Well, that pretty much shuts the book on <laughs> There's day. so much motherfucking evidence. <laughs> you hear that, Phoenix Wright? Take fucking note. If that's true, then there's no possibility that Gonta is the culprit. What? Why are you making this so complicated? Just be the culprit already. Uh, sorry. Why is he pouting? Why is he pouting about it? He's like, just be the culprit already. Fucking damn it. I don't think you need to apologize. Yeah, that's right. A man shouldn't apologize so easily. I should be the one to apologize. I am sorry for accusing you, Gonta. Oh, everybody's so nice and friendly. Friendship is magic. No, Gonta understand. Because we gotta find culprit. Well said. For a degenerate male, you're actually pretty reasonable. The sexism. It's astonishing with you. Ugh, I hate this sentimental crap. Why's that? It's nice when everyone gets along like this. Are you stupid or something? I can't stand people having a good time! Daddy is too evil to feel ashamed for being evil. Hear that, guys? Monokuma is here for a long time, not a good time. We could learn a lot from him. Don't mind me. I'm not actually taking notes. I'm placing bets on racehorses. I'm jonesing for a leaf. I need a raccoon tail to chase my dragon. What? It's good that Gont is in the clear, but don't break out the confetti just yet. We're out of suspects now. On top of that, we still don't even know how Rantaro died. Yeah, we do. You got the hit in the head with a shot put. So we only know what the weapon is? How are we supposed to find the mastermind with that? We know the murder weapon is the shot put ball. But where did the culprit get it? From the storage room. I think it was from the warehouse. I saw track and field equipment there. Then anyone would have been able to obtain it. We need more information. What's wrong, Shuichi? Huh? Uh, uh, it's nothing. It don't seem like nothing. Yeah, that don't seem like nothing. Uh, how do we find this darn culprit now? Hey, culprit! Quit hiding! Just be a man and fess up already! We don't even know if they're a guy or not, though, right? Or if they're even human. Are you referring to me? <laughs> don't worry, you guys. We're one step closer to the truth, so don't give up. Try to remember what happened. We can find more clues left by the mastermind. Clues? What kind of clues? Are we talking about Blue's clues? Like... If Rantaro was deceived by the mastermind and went to the library, maybe somebody saw Rantaro having a suspicious conversation with someone. It would be a good idea to figure out who knew about our trap. Either way, anything you guys remember might be able to help with the case. I feel like they should be doing JoJo poses. I mean, look at Kyo, he's basically doing it for everyone. Yes, yes, but... Culprit is also the mastermind? Kyo's out there just touching himself huh? the whole time. Yeah, I think so. Why? Then what the two had just told me Look at him! He's doing it right now! He's correct! Huh? I didn't hear anything. Ah, oh, that's right. Only I can hear the voice of a Dua. Yeah, only you're a psychopathic bitch. Okay, cool. Nice. Then I will speak on the Dua's behalf, as his prophet. If the culprit is the mastermind, they could have entered the library while avoiding the cameras. Yeah. What? Are you serious? There's a way to do that? Super serious, brother. <laughs> brother. Number two, it sounds like a shady weirdo. A way for the culprit to enter the library without being caught by the cameras. Is that really possible? Continue explaining on his behalf. Yep! Ha ha ha! Only a Tua knows the truth behind this incident! 
If you end up wrong, does that mean that you worship a false god? Might need to rethink your religion. The culprit was hiding in the library the whole time. Before uh, the vent? Even placed the cameras. Classroom vent. Where would they have hidden? Inside the hidden door! Wait, what? So you're saying the culprit was lying in wait there? If that's true, the suspects... Hidden door. Are ...those who were alone at the time of the incident. The only ones who didn't go to the dining hall or basement are... Kokichi and Kibo and Ryoma, right? I knew the culprit was a male! Yahaha! Behold Atua's divine logic! The hidden door. Is she talking about the vent? The culprit was hiding in the library the whole time. Before Kaede and Shuichi even placed the cameras. Where would they have hidden? I'm just gonna Inside take a shot in the dark here. Door. Okay, no. Huh? What do you mean? The mastermind should know about the hidden door, right? What the fuck are you talking about? What do you want about? The, the hidden door? Okay, what about classroom? Look out classroom, classroom. Both Kaede and Shuichi were watched until security went off. I mean, I guess I'll use classroom vent then if it's not library vent. Huh? What the fuck are you on about? The culprit was hiding in the library the whole time. Before Kaede and Shuichi even placed the cameras. Where would they have hidden? Oh wait, no, it would be the photos. Wait. What? The photo shows everybody entering the room? Alright, hold up. What kind of bullshit are you spouting right now? <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to reason with a madman. Okay, well then. We have a library event. What was the other one? What was the other one? The Maki's account. Before Kaede and Shuichi even placed the cameras. Oh. Where would they have Hadoi. Inside the hidden door. No, that's wrong. We've been referring to the hidden door as the bookcase the whole entire time, and I'm like, what the fuck is she talking about? Wait a minute, Angie. I confused myself I there. To hide in the hidden door. Yeah, fucking the card reader wasn't used. Dust was still there, and it had Kokichi's not Kokichi, Suichi's little smiley face still on it. You dare challenge Atua? Yeah, I challenge your false god. I don't think the hidden door was ever used. Huh? The dust is still there. It looks like the card reader wasn't used. That means the mastermind didn't hide here. While investigating the mastermind, I placed dust on the card reader. If anyone swiped their card key, the dust would have fallen. We already confirmed during the investigation that there was no dust on the floor. The bookcase hadn't been opened, so I doubt anyone was hiding in there. The fog has lifted. Oh, uh, what? The fog has been lifted. <laughs> what? <laughs> now he's fucking. Now he's staring at me like he's a Kuma. Huh? W what do you mean? Okay. The culprit could have been in the library before the cameras were even set. Impossible. You won't be able to prove anything with weak reasoning like that. It seems you've been contradicted. When this sort of thing happens, you'll go into a one-on-one -on -one debate called the re a Rebuttal Showdown. What's a Rebuttal Showdown? It's the new hit anime. In, the, in this mode, you can counter... Okay, so it's like the sword fight thing from... Yeah, Truth Blade. Okay, so it's the thing from Danganronpa 2. Regular cut. Truth Blade. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. In this mode, Truth Bullets will be called Truth Blades. Use regular cuts on your opponent's words. Weak points as peers. Alright, Truth Blade Strike. Of course, if you don't have the correct Truth Blade, you'll not be able to cut an opponent's remark. Huh. What's neat is, if you cut through multiple words at once, you get time bonus. Two at once gets you two seconds. Three, three. The more you cut down, the better. Watch the positioning of your opponent's claim closely and slice as many as you can. By doing that, you can screw the debate. You can screw. Yeah, you can screw the debate's mood to your advantage. When the mood of the argument is in your favor, the debate will progress. 
On the other hand, if you ignore the other person's remark, it will screw towards their advantage. And then you'll have to deal with loss of progress. If you and your opponent's arguments even, even a blade lock will occur, that's when you mash the X button. Oh my god, so much. <laughs> so much information. Alright. How do I control the blade? Well, that's a lot. Even if we rule out the hidden door. Oh, okay. The library's got no shortage oh, of hiding spots. Uh, There's piles of books all over. Since the culprit was there before the cameras were placed, they could have been hiding there, you know. They took out Rantaro, then took off. Blade lock. The hell out of here. But if the culprit killed him and ran away, wouldn't they have been caught on camera? Not if they went back into hiding. Right after killing Rantaro. Then, once everyone's gathered around the body, all they gotta do is act like they just ran in. We join everyone and we'd be none the wiser. Huh? I Not think the photos will help me there. Hiding, right after killing Rantaro. Then, once everyone's gathered around the box, all they gotta do is act like they just ran in. We join everyone and we'd be none the wiser. I'll cut your word! Alright. Got it. My voice just cracked, by the way. That was amazing. The culprit met him inside the library? That doesn't seem possible, though. Let's hear it, then. What's your reason? Because the photo shows everyone entering the library. If you take a look at the three pictures from the camera we placed near the front door... This is when Shuichi and I met up with Kaito and Tenko, and then rushed in. This one shows the other four people running in after they heard Tenko scream. I just love how Angie's like Naruto running. <laughs> and finally, everyone else coming in after hearing the body discovery announcement. You can clearly see everyone entering the library in these pictures. It wouldn't make sense if there was someone hiding in the library the whole time. Well, that does cover everyone now, doesn't it? I guess the one who still has a ways to go is me. Don't worry about it. It's better to think about each possibility anyway. Right, Shuichi? You've been very quiet over there, Shuichi. Ah, oh, um, yes. Uh-huh, lost in thought over there, buddy, huh? Is Suichi okay? He's been really quiet. Is he worried about something? So the real question is how the culprit entered and exited the library. We cannot continue until we address that problem first. It's quite the mystery. How did the killer avoid being caught by the cameras? Almost like they were invisible. Oh, but it wasn't me. My magic can only make you half invisible. Your upper half, to be specific. Thanks for that info, Himiko. That's kind of a half-baked invisibility spell, isn't it? But both doors to library had hidden cameras on them. How about the vent in the library? Maybe they came in through there. Impossible. But Shuichi and I were on lookout in the classroom with the connecting vent. The culprit waited until Kaede and Shuichi weren't looking, then turned invisible. <laughs> oh, you're precious, Himiko. Himiko is really gung-ho about her invisible culprit theory. She's like, what if they turned invisible? But that's impossible. But what if they turned invisible, though? Um, yeah, no. There's no way someone snuck into the library through the vent. That's right. We have evidence that proves that... W <laughs> that, 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 that I can't speak. We have evidence that proves that wouldn't have been possible. Uh, I mean, we kept lookout, right? That has nothing to do with the air vent. Okay. I mean, we kept we kept lookout, but okay. Uh, promotional video. Library vent. Uh, the vent 
was still propped open exactly the way Kaede left it when they set the hidden cameras. Uh, let's see. Both Kaede and Suichi were on watch. It was not possible for anyone to sneak into the library. Well, there's no evidence that anyone used the classroom vent. I was unable to confirm that. How did they arrive to that conclusion? I'm sorry, what am I doing here? What's the evidence that proves that no one snuck into the library through the vent? Huh? Didn't we just go over this? Am I crazy? Am I insane? Are you insane? Library books. Nothing has changed. I get it. When I set the cameras, I also stacked some books in front of the vent. If someone did crawl in and out from the vent, the books would have collapsed. While we were investigating, they were still neatly stacked the way I placed them. Maybe they put the books back when they left the room. That would be quite difficult to achieve on such a narrow bookcase. And such a short period of time. If we've ruled out the vent and doors, then how'd the culprits get in and out of the library? Maybe divine intervention? <laughs> Surprise Pikachu face. <laughs> Gonta no can think of any other way to enter. Eureka! I know how the culprit got in the library! The front door! Um, have you been paying attention? The camera would have taken their picture. Not if the culprit timed their movements around the camera intervals! The camera what now? Huh? Intervals? What is that? Basically, the culprit knew about the cameras and their intervals. Suichi? So they snuck into the library between camera shots to avoid appearing in the photos. Suichi? <laughs> I know, I know. Beauty and brains. Suichi, Why? what are these intervals? It's not fair. New? What's this interval you're talking about? Huh? Oh, now you're asking me. Are you talking? Oh, shit. <laughs> we weren't using digital cameras, were we? We were using film. So did the film have to, did the shutter have to like reset? After the shutter snaps, the camera ah, shit. a new photo for 30 seconds. Because I redesigned the cameras to auto roll the film instead of having to do it manually. Yep. That's the first time I'm hearing about this. Why you know, didn't you tell us from the start? You know what? I almost forgot about little old me with the, you know, new kids of the newer generation with their digital cameras don't understand that you have to scroll back film on a disposable camera. <laughs> but, but I told your little beta boy toy after Whoa. I gave the remodeled cameras. <laughs> My what now? Suichi? Suichi? You knew? Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I... I guess I forgot to tell you. <laughs> Beta boy toy. Oh, shit. How could you forget to tell me? I didn't think it would affect the plan. I... I didn't realize it would matter. Suichi, that's hella suspect. Considering that you literally said, Oh, Kaede, don't worry, I'm going downstairs to check on things. I guess I just forgot to mention it. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I forgot. What a pitiful excuse. I really feel that fucking Kyo out here would be a perfect Yu-Gi-Oh villain. Yeah, that's pretty much a lie. All right, all right, you calm down. N no, it's not a lie. He probably just forgot. There was so much going on at the time. It's only natural to forget, you know? Yeah. Let's put that aside for now and talk about the camera intervals. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, he is a Yu-Gi-Oh villain. Sitting right next to fucking Pegasus talking about mm, Kaiba boy. Each interval lasted for 30 seconds, correct, Mew? Yeah, sure. I'll explain it again to you mushheads. The three cameras that Kaidiot and Fuichi placed go off when they pick up movement. I resent those statements. From 
there, it takes 30 seconds for the film to auto-roll to the next photo. So, for 30 seconds, anyone could have entered the library without their photo being taken? That may have been enough time to kill Rantaro and exit the library. It's definitely enough time! You just gotta move at lightning speed! I see, I see! Then there's no doubt the culprit made use of the camera's intervals! That means the culprit was Mew all along, since she knew about the intervals. That's true. Don't be an asshole. I have an alibi. Remember? That's also home? true. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> who else knew about the intervals? Hmm. Now, who was it again? Shuichi. Maki, come on! <laughs> Well then, does this mean that he is the culprit we have been seeking? Shuichi... Hey, what gives, Shuichi? Shuichi would never do that. Right, Shuichi? You know what I say? Anyone who's played Danganronpa? Never trust the first person that is buddy-buddy with you. It happened with fucking Sayaka. It happened with Nagito. It even happened with Toko. You can't trust none of these motherfuckers out here. That's what I'm saying. You had better speak soon. Your silence only damns you further. Fess up already! Did you kill Rantaro? Hey, Shuichi. What's gotten into you? Don't tell me you're gonna plead the fifth now. <laughs> Oh man, this is getting good! Entertain me, peasants! Wow. No way. Sweet, you can't be the culprit? It's definitely wrong. There's no way. I refuse to believe Suichi's the culprit. It's definitely not possible. Intermission. Everybody get up. Go grab a sandwich. Do your taxes. Would you like to save? I totally forgot that this series has intermissions between the trials. Well now. Wow, the trial's racing towards its thrilling conclusion. Do you know who the culprit is? Obviously I know, because I know everything. Uh? What? Know everything? Yeah. No, everything. Mm -hmm. Daddy knows everything about anything. He's basically traded his bearhood for godhood. Um, yes, he has betrayed us. Ursine, <laughs> he's betrayed his Ursine ancestors. <laughs> traded? Now, I'm still obviously a bear. Is it obvious, right? Right, you guys? Yeah, sure. Ain't no fish. But you damn sure smell like one. Now then. Anyway, since I know everything, I'll give you the whole story later. Try your hardest to nab the culprit, and believe me, that's no lie. If I lied, it would shake the game to its very foundation. <laughs> like you did in the first game. <laughs> so trust me and please enjoy the class trial without any worries. Interesting. Now back to our scheduled programming. I feel like we're getting close to the glory part. It's making me nervous. I don't know who the culprit is, but I'm not paying attention, so it's okay. Yeah, but there's one thing we do know. The line between victim and attacker ain't as clear as you might think. Man, I'm just trying to find out is a if Annie's okay, man. Annie, are you okay? One lesson we can take away from this case. Are you okay, Annie? Annie, are you okay? I cut off the leg before the poison spread. By spring, Flowers will grow from the stump. Interesting, very interesting. Okay, Suichi. Say something already. The tongue tied silence speaks volumes. I fucking knew you were the culprit. But wait just a minute. None of that is possible. Shuichi was with me the whole time we were on lookout. When are you suggesting Shuichi killed Rantaro? 
Were you really together the whole time? Mm -hmm. Huh? What do you mean? I'm asking if you two were on lookout together the whole time. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we weren't together the whole time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna check out the basement. I'll come with you. No, you stay and keep watch, Kaede. Just in case any murderers go down there. So that's when Shuichi went to kill Rantaro. No, Shuichi wouldn't kill anyone. Don't become emotional. We must seek the truth in a calm and logical manner. Hmm. Or all our lives will be lost here. And then he will attack you. Attack your life points directly. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Look not at him. being emotional here. I'm saying it with conviction. Even if Suichi did go to the basement, he couldn't have killed Rantaro because uh the time took Suichi to return, security sensors go off, the murder weapon. The, mur the murder weapon the murder weapon. Suichi couldn't have gotten his hands on the murder weapon. The murder weapon was a shot put ball from the warehouse. We all have okay. Ow. Ow. All right. And what about the sensors? I get it. The security alarm didn't ring until after Shuichi returned to the classroom. It only rang after Rantaro moved the hidden door. Which means he was still alive. I didn't want to use that piece of evidence because doesn't Suichi have the remote to that? If Suichi was with me when the alarm went off, then that means he's not the culprit. By the way, I want to confirm one thing with you, Kaede. And what's that, jackass? Who set the security oh, sensor on the shit. bookcase? It was Suichi, right? That's... That's quite a look you got there. Then I'll set up the camera that's connected to the security sensor. I'll set it carefully so the camera has a clear shot when the mastermind moves the bookcase. Let me take care of the security sensor on top of the bookcase. And we'll set the cameras near each door. Yeah. Shuichi was the one who set up the security sensor. What about it? Did you actually check for yourself if the sensor was set on the bookcase, Kaede? No, I didn't check. Did it ever occur to you that Shuichi could have lied about setting the sensor? Hmm? A lie? Shuichi pretended to place the sensor on the hidden bookcase door. Come on, Shuichi, say something! But in actuality, he was holding it the whole time. And when he met up with you, he secretly triggered the sensor to make the security alarm go off. That would cause Kaede to assume that someone had moved the bookcase. I see, sneaky little fucker! But somebody did move the bookcase. Now at this rate, everyone's gonna think Suichi's the culprit. I have to do something. I know for a fact that he didn't do it. So I gotta do something. From this point on, lines of white noise will appear to disrupt your reaction. True bullets, uh, your true bullets will disappear if they touch the white noise. It's an obstacle. You silence it with X. Why would you do that? Because it makes it easier to shoot the right weak spots. You'll also get additional time. Okay. Oh, he is on the chopping block. Receiver, front entrance, rear entrance, hidden door, Security lookout. Security sensor was armed, but... The moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time. The sound Kaede heard came. Okay. Security alarm receiver, sensor place, so in case someone moved the bucket. Did he hand me the receiver? The alarm's receiver. Hmm. What else we have? Came from Entrances, hidden door. Secretly moved it. Okay. Hidden door. Two photos were taken. Camera face and hidden door. First photo, rear shot. 
Second photo shot of Rantaro attempting to remove the camera. And that's the first shot, that's the second. Okay, second photo. First photo. And then what was the other? In order to trigger the alarm. Look out, class, right? See, Suiji left briefly to go check the basement. Two, two were together the entire time until the receiver went off. Mm. Okay. They heard the sensor go off. She figured someone had tried to move the bookcase. Only an idiot can make that mistake. Okay. The security sensor was armed, but the moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time. The sound Kaede heard came from the sensor when Shuichi secretly moved it in order to trigger the alarm. So when Kaede heard Did the Kaede sensor, have the sensor at the time? Figured someone had tried to move the bookcase. I think Kaede Only had the sensor at the time. I could be wrong about that. The security sensor is fine, but well, the no harm in trying it. Isn't what triggered it. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time. The sound Kaede heard came from the sensor. And Shuichi. No. Hmm. Uh. All right. The security sensor was armed, but the moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time. The sound Kaede heard came from... Let's try this. The sensor when Shuichi... Oh, wrong button. In order to trigger the alarm. So when Kaede heard the sensor go off, she figured someone had tried to move the bookcase. Oh, no, idiot can make that mistake. I'm going to refute that with the uh, Kokichi statement. The security sensor was armed, but... The moving... Okay, thanks. No, White noise. Wrong. All right. Wait a minute. This is weird. If the security sensor wasn't placed, then we wouldn't have been able to take that picture. We were only able to get it because the sensor was triggered by the hidden door. Oh, that? Easy to explain. Well, you see, see what had happened was Uh, I guess you're right. Sorry, I didn't think that far ahead. Okay. You're giving up that easily? Yeah, I mean, whatevs. I made a mistake, big deal. You speak as if you knew that from the start. Even I was taken in. So you see, Shuichi can't be the culprit. Now wait just a minute. Okay. The security sensor had a power supply, so what if it went like this? The security sensor was set up on the bookshelf, and Shuichi had its receiver. However, Shuichi turned the receiver off. Yep, that's what I was... okay. Huh? How come? That would get you a picture, but no alarm when Rantaro moved the bookcase. Are you saying that the two pictures of him touching the cameras are... Then, when Shuichi says he's gonna check the basement, he oh. actually goes to the library. And thanks to the 30 second interval, he's got time to go in after Rantaro. Okay. He could have collected the sensor from the hidden bookcase after killing Rantaro. I see. Then he caused the receiver to go off in front of Kaede to trick her. Come on, Suichi, say something. It's certainly plausible, considering that Shuichi knew about the intervals. Uh, how needlessly complicated. But I guess. Oops. Then I did not mean to skip that. She really is the culprit? <laughs> so the ultimate detective is the killer. What a plot twist! Wait! Why do you guys think he's the culprit? Shuichi, please say something. Why aren't you saying anything? Hey, yeah, you make yourself look really bad out there. Shuichi, what's wrong? You're not culprit, are you? Hey, you gonna say anything? We'll all vote for you if you don't. Are you okay with being the culprit? 
Are you ready to turn yourself in? What should I do? Everyone suspects Suichi. There's no way he's the culprit, but even so... Why won't Suichi say anything? Is there a reason he won't say anything? If that's the case, then it's up to me. To protect everyone, I need to take control of this debate. Even if it means I have to lie to do it! Telling lies? Did you hear that? A lie? Now I know it sounds crazy, telling a lie in a class trial. But sometimes, telling lies is necessary to reach the truth. Oh, but don't worry. There's no lies in this tutorial. From here on out, there will be times in a debate you have to lie. What? <laughs> what? That's new. Okay. Before you had to refute the lies, but now you'll have to lie yourself. Does that get your heart pumping? That makes me a little confused, actually. Okay, but when you hold triangle, the truth bullet will become a lie bullet. Oh. Okay. When you use the lie bullet to argue and argue or agree with someone's statement, it will become a perjury statement that paints over the truth with lies. While lying, your influence gauge will drain. A successful lie will restore it. But if you mess with your lie bullet, wait, if you miss your lie bullet, you'll take damage. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> it's called a back route. Let's try and see. Let's try and say that only those who lie will be able to find it. Ah, uh, that's confusing. Uh, Let's go over the case one more time. I guess I would use receiver on Suichi. Sensor was placed on the moving bookcase. Suichi also had the receiver. Let's turn this lie into the truth. Ugh, I feel so dirty. Sorry, you guys. I forgot to tell you something important. Forgot? To tell you the truth, it was me. I had the receiver. Huh? So that's why there's no way Shuichi could have turned off the receiver. <laughs> what? If that is true, then the entire premise of the argument thus far is wrong. Dang and Rampa. One, two. Ultra Spare Girls, use your truth bullets. This game, lie through your fucking teeth. Is this true, Kaede? Yeah, it's the truth. Uh, of course. Come on, would I lie to you guys? Would I lie to you guys? That only screw yourself over. If we mess up, you're dead too, you know. Uh huh. Or perhaps you wanted to cover for Shuichi, even at the cost of your life. Huh? I cannot imagine why anyone would risk their life to lie on another's behalf. Okay, Mr. Robo. Words from a true heartless robot. Emotions are only for meatbags. <laughs> that is a harmful stereotype. I can produce heartfelt remarks through calculations. Like less than three? Those kinds of calculations? It's not so unthinkable. All hearts are blind when faced with radiant love. Okay, Kingdom Hearts, calm down. Doing anything what the fuck? <laughs> He's ascending to godhood. <laughs> I most certainly have, at least. This is the most JoJo character I've ever seen in my life. How creepy you are. I'm sure that person didn't want your love. Kaede and Shuichi are pretty buddy-buddy with each other, so I wouldn't doubt that. Plus, the way Kaede just acted right now, I'm pretty sure she lied. Only a liar would know about another lie. A talented liar like me can spot other people's lies easily. Or is that a lie? Is that a lie in itself? Liar? Well, what do you guys think? To believe or not to believe Kaede? Um, I do want to believe Kaede, but Shuichi does seem pretty suspicious. You're sexist. Nobody cares. He has been strangely quiet for a while now. Which is classic degenerate male behavior. Yeah, I agree. Shuichi is the only person here who's suspicious. Oh, come on, Maki, not you two. So we all agree that Puichi did it? Then let's just vote already! 
No, I still think it is too soon to determine the culprit. There you go, Kibo. Um, I agree. I sort of can't believe that Shuichi is the culprit. All right, Samugi, good job. Yeah, this ain't right. Kaito? I agree. Oh, that's surprising. But I don't know if Atua agrees. Because right now, it's his nap time. This is quite troublesome. It seems our opinions are on opposite ends. How are we supposed to decide? We're split, right down middle. Hold on. What the fuck? Split? Did you just say split? You did! I heard it! I heard it with my belly button microphone! That's weird. So wait, your ears don't do anything? The Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds! More phenomenal trial grounds? The trial grounds are gonna morph? Seriously? I totally want to see that! <laughs> He's so excited! <laughs> Me too. It's morphin' time. Either way, we have to do something. We can't vote for Suichi because he's definitely not the culprit. If we vote for him, all hope is lost. I won't be able to save anyone. But I haven't lost hope yet. I won't give up. Before I can save anyone, I need to make sure we're all on the same page. You're split down the middle. At times like this, debate scrums. Scrums? That's how you pronounce it? Scrums are perfect. In the debate, you'll be split into two teams. Oh, shit. Then you argue your opinions against each other. But well, look, everyone's so fired up. The subjects of your statement don't match. That's not how you debate at all. You have to match your subject with your opponents and put them in the correct order. That's how you make a good debate. Your side's, your side's subject keywords will be displayed, but your opponent's subjects won't be revealed yet. Listen closely to the subject of your opponent's argument. Before your opponent finishes their statement, find the same subject keyword. Then press triangle to argue the subject. Oh, God. <laughs> what is this? Viewing your opponent's arguments match, then your opponent's keywords will be revealed. And when all of the statements match up, you will enter the final. The final. The finale. Try to, try to convince all your opponents at once. Continuously tap the button displayed on the screen. Okay. Don't get pushed back. Push their claim out for a perfect refutation. What is this shit? <laughs> what? Is... You guys can't see me, but I got like, I have such a big smile on my face, it's hurting my face. What the hell? <laughs> what? Is Suichi the co- Look at these warriors! Oh my fucking god, what? You hid what you knew about the camera interval, Shuichi. Gota. But Mew's silent about intervals too. Shuichi, I actually have an airtight alibi. Kaito. Kaede backed up Shuichi's alibi, didn't she? Shuichi and Kaede weren't together the whole time, were they? Hirumi! Both of them were together when the receiver went off. If Shuichi had the receiver, it could have been disguised. Kibo! Kaede is the one who actually had the receiver. What the fuck is happening? That's Kaede's lie, isn't it? I'll do it. We'll know whether or not it's a lie when we talk this through. Oh shit! <laughs> what the fuck? That was hype as shit. Everyone, you have to believe me. Shuichi is not the culprit. If we vote for Shuichi, we'll be making the wrong choice. And if that happens, everyone will be executed. I definitely won't let that happen, even if it costs me my life. Kaede. Yeah, it's just like Kaede said. Shuichi ain't the culprit. Gonta believe in Shuichi too. Gentlemen always believe in friends. Well, 
If Shuichi's not our culprit, then who is? We've already exhausted all possible avenues of discussion. No way. There has to be something else we can discuss. We just gotta think. Right, Shuichi? Huh? Shuichi, you good, man? Shuichi, even though you're not the culprit, you've been quiet for a while. It's because you realized something, huh? You're scared to reveal the truth. <laughs> I thought so. Shuichi, answer me this. What kind of truth did you realize? Don't be scared to say it. Not just for me, but for everyone else. Please, face the truth. The picture. Picture? The picture from the camera aimed at the hidden door just before the murder. I always thought it was suspicious the way Rantaro was acting. Hmm? What's suspicious? If you look at the picture, it looks like Rantaro is trying to remove the camera. Yeah. But that must mean he noticed the camera he set up. Mm hmm. That's true. But when did he notice that? I believe it was when the camera took its first picture. This picture was taken when Rantaro moved the bookcase. At that moment, something made him notice the camera. So he tried to remove it. That's when the bookcase closed. The sensor was triggered, and that's when this picture was taken. I have a big it's smile fine. on my face. We must find the reason why he noticed the camera. You're confusing everyone! Except me, of course. Just get to the fucking point! I know the reason! I've been contemplating what it could be. Why did he notice the camera? And the answer is in this picture. I see. Suichi knows. The reason... The camera flash. I get it. You know, for hitting cameras, it's quite suspicious that you left the you flash on. The flash, right? Yeah. The flash. Yes. On the CW? The flash. The, flash. the door camera took a picture. Rantaro noticed the camera's flash. But how can you tell the flash went off? The shadow's behind him. Well, if you compare it to the other pictures that we have, remember the pictures that were taken when I took down the cameras? This is the picture taken when I removed the front camera. This is the picture from when I removed the rear camera. And this is the picture of Rantaro. Whoa! The brightness is totally different! Same room, circumstance, and camera. And yet, there is a disparity in brightness. Because only the camera aimed at the hidden door had the flash turned on. What was the purpose of leaving the flash on? Especially since it was meant to be hidden. A mistake, maybe? It's no mistake. There was an objective here. That camera was placed for another reason. Another reason, huh? Uh. I get it! The flash was used to lure whoever moved the bookcase to the camera. So when the flash went off, they would have noticed the camera right away. And that's exactly what happened. Rantaro moved the bookcase, noticed the flash, and then walked over to the camera. He noticed the flash and he said, wow, that show is kind of weird. <laughs> but the culprit didn't expect the camera Let me turn to it off. another picture when the door closed. Hey, Kaede? What is it? Is something wrong? You've been acting kind of strange. Strange? Your last few remarks carry more conviction than before. Do you know who the culprit is? Yep, I know. I've known for a long time. 
Hmm? Long time? Because there was only one person able to set the flash on the camera. Isn't that right, Shuichi? The culprit of this incident is... <laughs> oh, shit. No doubt about it. Well, this is as far as it goes. I couldn't do it. I couldn't get to the mastermind. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry, Rantaro. I'm sorry, Shuichi. You stayed silent this whole time because you realized it already, right? But you can't do that. It may be the end of me, but I want my wish to. I'm giving it to you, Shuichi. From now on, you're going to carry on my wish. You're going to protect everyone. Kaede, I know what you want me to do. That's so cool. It's cool, but... I understand. I'll do it. You can trust me. I won't let your wish go ungranted. It's time for the true protagonist Kaede of the story. The Damn. <laughs> I have to say. Like I said before, I played the first trial, and I'm really sad that I played it before I ever streamed this game. Because, out of all the Danganronpa games, this has to be one of the biggest twists that has happened. Now, I don't know about the rest of the game, there might be even better twists. But, in every Danganronpa game, you meet someone and they always end up being evil, or the culprit, or something, right? But in this game, you get kind of used to it, and you're like, they point you in the way of Suichi's the one who knew about the intervals. He has the receiver. Like, <laughs> and then to just go like, the real killer is not Suichi. It's Kaede. It's amazing, right? Now, I do remember that part of the trial, but the rest of the trial up to this point, I forgot how we got there. So all the other stuff, I pretty much forgot. But this point stuck with me. This is one of the reasons why I just <laughs> I didn't fucking... I was so disappointed that I didn't stream this before. Or when I recorded it way back when, and then I just said, no, I don't feel like uploading this, right? I wish that... I wish that I could have recorded... Well, I wish I did record it, but I didn't like it. Um... I think I might, I might still have the recording somewhere, I'm not sure, I might be able to find it, but just my first time seeing this, I had to put the game down and I said no, now's not the time to play this, I have to wait for the right time to play this. This is amazing. Which is why that, which is why last stream I felt kind of bad a little bit, because someone did say it in chat, they did spoil it a little. I say a little, but they explicitly said the words Kaede did it. So I try to curve that, right? So I got a little depressed when they said that in chat. I'm not mad at them, but you know. But after this trial, everything is new territory. Huh? Kaede did it? Wait! That's not possible! Right, Kaede? Kaede? Wait! Did she really. <laughs> Just kidding! You're making it harder for us, Kaede. 
<laughs> but yeah, and Shark, if you gotta go, if you gotta rest up, go ahead and do it. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Hopefully, what time is it? Let me see. Oh yeah, I definitely have time to finish this trial up. Just kidding. Huh? Did you guys really think I'm the culprit? Shh, come on, guys. Like I could. When Rantaro was murdered, I was in the classroom with Shuichi, remember? After that, we went to the library, and that's the first time I even saw his body. Plus, I never met up with Rantaro. I never had a chance to kill him. Yes. No way Kaede could be culprit. No way Kaede could do Jeez, it. Jeez, of course not. Do you think I'm even strong enough to throw that shot? Well, she's not. My hands are only strong enough to play piano. Then accusing you of being the culprit is... <laughs> yep, it's wrong. Shuichi's just joking around. He wanted to lighten up the mood. Right, Shuichi? No matter how you look at it, I couldn't have killed Rantaro with that shot. Oh, you're making it hard. I understand, Kaede. You want me to reveal the truth, don't you? I think everyone's afraid of learning the truth. But the people who are willing to find the truth are the ones who can decide their fate. If you never know the lie beyond the truth, then you can't choose the path. You won't even know what path you're on. So, fighting for the truth, even if it is frightening, I know you can do this. If you're scared, borrow the strength of others who will be there to help you. Think of everyone you're helping, and let that be your strength. No, <laughs> Gotta check out the rest of the VOD later. Alright, see you around, man. <sighs> With Suichi's new resolve. What the hell did you just say? It seems as though Shuichi is serious after all. Of course I am. Why don't you tell me then? How did I kill Rantaro with that shot? Yeah, how? You and Kaede were together the whole time, weren't you? How Kaede killed Rantaro with the shot put ball should become clear when you consider where she used it. Where she used the shot put ball? You guys. Katie wants me to reveal the truth. She trusts me with her wish. So I can't back down. I need to fulfill her wish. I need to fight for the truth. All right. I have an alibi. Mm hmm. When Rantaro was killed. I was in the classroom, standing watch with Shuichi. Kaede never saw Rantaro. And how she kill him? It's important to establish where the culprit used the shot. We know that it was in the library. Oh, Rantaro shit. was killed in the library, after all. That's the only explanation. In which case, it's impossible for me to be the culprit. All right. I have an alibi. I'm in the classroom, standing watch with Shuichi. And how she kill him? It's important to establish where the culprit used the shot. We know that it was. That's wrong. <laughs> I feel so bad for Kaede. Oh my god. Kaede didn't use the shot put ball at the scene of the crime. She used it at the first floor classroom, where we were keeping watch. Hold up. How could she have hit Rantara with a shot from a different floor? She rolled it. She rolled the shot from the first floor classroom and hit Rantara. I am skeptical that she could perform such a feat of accuracy. So it was a magic shot put ball? Yeah, that's not possible. <laughs> It is possible. If you do it at the right spot in the classroom, it will reach the library. So it seems you already knew about that. Damn. 
I didn't want to figure it out. I didn't want to know. But I can't turn away from the truth. The place she rolled the shopper ball to move it from the classroom to the library. I know this. Alright, when you need to deduce a keyword, you'll be thrown into Hangman's Gambit version 3.0. The objective is to select the letters and create the keyword. Press X to activate a flash spot to read and illuminate. Oh, that's new. The letters are illuminated, you will not be able to actually select the letter orb. Huh? So make sure you remember where they are. But remember, you have to select them in the correct order. Deduce the keywords from the letters, but the flash spot uses focus energy. Waves of light will also occasionally cross the screen so you can read the letter orbs. Okay. Well, that's definitely different from the old one. Uh, what are we making? Four letter word. There we go. The classroom's bet. If you were to roll the shot in there, it would reach the library. I see. That air duct connects the classroom to the library. So, the shot is rolled into the vent, passes through the duct, and comes out of the air vent above the library bookcase. But how could she have hit Rantaro from all the way over there? The vent was way too far from Rantaro's body. So it was just a coincidence? No. <laughs> what kind of coincidence is that? Hmm. What a mystery. I think around uh, the first time I play this, this is the moment where I realized it. Now I already know the answer to that as well. It was no coincidence. The culprit set it up that way intentionally. If I remember correctly, there was something off about her then. Damn it. How could I not realize it? It's too late to regret the past. I said I wouldn't back down. I made a promise. All right. The shot that fell from the vent. How did it strike Rantaro's head from that distance? Yeah, that's impossible. Come on. It's not like it started rolling on its own. I agree. <laughs> Look at the thumbs up. And <laughs> Suichi's like super happy. He's like, I agree to that. It's just like we almost said. The shot rolled along the top of the bookcase and fell. Oops. Rolled along the bookcase? I did say that, but would the shot have rolled that conveniently? It has nothing to do with convenience. The shot rolled exactly how the culprit wanted. They used books on top of the bookcases to direct the path of the shot. Mew, can you show them the floor plan? The shot's path was directed by books? How would that even work? Ah, it would be easier to explain with a floor plan of the library. Oh, that's right. Someone did have a floor plan. In fact, that might be concrete proof of my theory. That's it! Mew, I recall that during the investigation... You said you would use your drone to make a floor plan. Oh yeah! What happened with that? Ha! I've already developed the photos and drafted some sketches. Then let's look at it. Maybe we all find clue. Please, Mew. Oh, want him that badly, huh? Fine. But now you owe me one. Sure, anything. Voila! Feast your eyes on these babies. <sighs> there it is. It's just as I thought. The cold, hard, cruel truth. Hmm? What is? See? The books are stacked like stairs from the vent to where Rantaro's body was found. Oh! Shuichi is right! Indeed. They are stacked like stairs. 
I did not notice when I looked up from the floor. I see, I see. The shot rolled on top of these books, eh? Yes. I'm sure of it. The shot was rolled into the classroom then and came out in the library. If the vent was open, the shot would have maintained momentum. And you did that, right, Kaede? You made sure the vent was open. I pushed the grate into the duct. Then I lifted my body and looked inside. So, how's it look? Could a person fit in there? Hmm, it would be pretty difficult. But, you might be able to crawl through. Impressive. You have a really good memory, Shuichi. Flattery will get you nowhere! When the shot came through, the stacked books made a change direction. It then rolled down the path made by the books. The books were stacked in rows so that the shot wouldn't fall off. At the same time, the books blocked the shot from view. Then, when the ball was directly above Rantaro, it changed direction, rolled along the groove of the open books, and fell on top of his head. And it was the camera flash that lured him to that exact spot. A setup that complicated is almost like a Rube Goldberg machine. So Kaede created this mechanism? I am fucking speechless. <laughs> well, it would be... Wait, even with the Rube... whatever setup, when did she roll the ball into the duct? That's right! Wasn't Shuichi with Kaede in the classroom? When did Kaede roll the shot put? It had to have been at the... at just the right time to kill Rentaro. <sighs> well, she was leaving the classroom. That's it! The moment we ran out of the classroom. When the sensor went off, I ran out first. And then Kaede followed. But just before she left... Suichi, the receiver! So I'll move the bookcase. Hurry, Kaede. Suichi sprinted out the classroom with the determination of a true ultimate detective. Wait for me. I dropped everything I was holding and ran after Suichi. I'm right, aren't I, Kaede? Of course, the ultimate detective would remember all that. Your words and that smile. Is this your admission of guilt? Hold on! Don't just jump to conclusions! I've still got a lot of questions! Kaido, you're making this painful. <laughs> That's weird. Why do you sound so desperate? There's nothing weird about it. There's just no way I could believe someone like Kaede would be the culprit. Yeah, don't to not believe it either. What? Don't worry, Kaede. I'll clear your name. Ah, shit. Let's just give it up, Kaito. It's hard for me, too. I refuse to believe that Kaede is the culprit. I still have my doubts. What kind of doubts? Doubts about the noise, of course. The library should have been quiet, right? There you go. I was waiting for somebody to say something about the sound that it would make through the air ducts. With the music blaring in your ears, you probably wouldn't notice. The game promotional video was being broadcast, so the library would not have been completely quiet at the time. Oh, so that ghastly video drowned out the sound of the shot rolling. What? Kaito, are you done now? Damn it! So it's true then? You're saying Kaede really is the culprit? So that means most of Kaede's sins were committed right before Shuichi's eyes. That's correct. I was with her in the classroom. 
and when she moved the vent grate aside. And when she lined up the books on top of the bookcase. Hmm. There are way more books here than I expected. The top of the bookcase is covered end to end with cluttered stacked books. This is nothing. As I move the ladder, I recognize the I recognized. I reorganized the books bit by bit. Jeez, there's too many books. It might be too hard to set up a camera here. Hmm, I thought so. Wait, I just gotta try a little harder. Kaede, I know you don't like to admit defeat, but really, it's alright. I continue moving the ladder as I kept reorganizing the books. And it was the same when you took the murder weapon, wasn't it? You took the shot put ball when you got the cameras for Mew, right, Kaede? Kaede, something wrong? We need to go before Mew changes her mind. Suichi was already at the door of the warehouse waiting for me. I'm oh, sorry. I shoved the things I was holding into my backpack and ran after him. So you were hiding it the entire time? Where would she have even hidden it? Where'd the Kaede keep it? It could only be one place. That's it! Kaede's backpack. She was carrying the shot put ball in there. Despite its weight, it would have been easy to carry in a backpack. I noticed you also had a spare vest, which you could have wrapped it in. That would prevent the cameras you were carrying from being damaged. And that means all of this happened right in front of Shuichi. But we should not blame him for that. None of those actions warranted suspicion at the time, so we might not have noticed. That clears it all up then. Every part of the crime Kaede plotted. That can't be. It's gotta be mistake, right? But if all of that is true, then that's pretty unfortunate. I mean, it's Kaede, you know? Oh, shut the hell up, Kokichi. She kept preaching about working together, and then she goes and kills in cold blood! No, something still doesn't fit. Hmm, what doesn't fit? Kaede wouldn't do something like that. Huh? You mean she's not the type? But you were the one that said she did it, right? Yes, I did say that. But murder in cold blood is just not in her character. I truly believe that. I believe... But why? I did not mean to skip that. <laughs> why do you still believe in me, Shuichi? Why? Tell me why! Why are you doing this? Are you still looking away from the truth? Not at all. My belief in you is going to lead me to the truth. I'll show you what's behind all this. I'll show you your truth. I know this is getting crazy, right? But it's time for another tutorial. Your opponent is on the ropes, but they're in the argument argument mode. Argument armament? Yeah, armament. That's how you pronounce that. Anyways, to refute what they say is how the armament works. The objective is to destroy things by playing a rhythm game. In the older games, uh, in Danganronpa 1 and 2, I remember the rhythm games being kind of bad. Because <laughs> I could never really catch the beat of the music. Alright. Can't get on a rhythm? Press R1 to activate fever time. During fever time, you'll be invincible and you can press any button. You can only activate it when your focus energy is full, so be careful. And when your opponent's argument is destroyed, you can give your final argument. Your argument will be displayed in four words. Press the buttons in the correct order and land the finishing blow. Use split-second logic to refute your opponent's final argument. Always, it was a pleasure. Alright. You still believe in me? What? I'm definitely the culprit. Okay, wait, what? <laughs> what? Such a weird rhythm. I'm definitely the culprit. I'm the one who killed Rantaro. That's the 
truth of this case. And that's all there is to it. I'm a terrible murderer. I betrayed everyone. I'm the one who killed Rantaro. That's I'm really trying to focus case. on the rhythm. It's weird. Remember what I told you? You have to fight for the truth. Shuichi, I know you can do this. If you say you believe in me, then... Don't look away from the truth! Please stop! Just stop! Remember what I told you? You have to fight for the truth. Shuichi, I know you can do this. All right. <laughs> do you know what I was trying to do? <sighs> Sorry, Kaede. You weren't persuaded by Monokuma, and you weren't trying to save yourself. That's why you didn't take the first blood perk. What you were trying to do was kill the mastermind. Kill the mastermind? Kaede wasn't targeting Rantaro. She was targeting the mastermind. She was trying to end this killing game. She was trying to save us all. Isn't that right, Kaede? I see. Otherwise, everyone would have died when the time limit expired. So, she tried to end the killing game by killing the mastermind? But it's all my fault. Kaede trusted my detective skills. I told her the mastermind might be there. And that's why she set that trap. It's all my fault. She trusted my detective work and I screwed it up. Stop. It's not true. Please, don't say it's your fault. It'll be harder for me. None of this is your fault. It's mine. Everything's my fault! Kaede... Shuichi, can I ask you to do one last favor for me? Can you... end all of this? What? <sighs> I want you to reveal everything that happened and convince everyone. And then... I want you to end this. That's... my final wish. I understand. I'll end all of this. I'll reveal everything. The truth and the lies. I want to help you. I want to help you grant Kaede's wish. I will now explain the closing argument, which is my favorite part of Danganronpa. In the closing argument, you will wrap up the case with an awesome-ass comic book. It's pretty cool. It's great. You do the pieces. Some of them are lies. You... It's like a puzzle. You put it together. It's pretty cool. All right, cool. Come on. Let's do it. <laughs> I really like how the style of the comic books changed throughout uh, the games. All right. Let's see. What page is this? Oh, shit. Wait, how do I... Maybe. Oh, there we go. How do I switch? Okay. Kaito, Gonta, and Tenko. All right. Let's see. Uh, is it here? I think it's here. No. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, no, it's here. Alright. Oh, that's the library. Is that the library? That's the library. I thought that was the classroom. My bad. Sweet. Rantaro's notices the flash. Oops. There we go. Uh, killing promotion of the video starts playing at loud volume. I'm just fucking this up royally, aren't I? Hmm. Alright, well, what do we have here? Oh, we unlocked another one. Open the encyclopedia. Let's 
see, classroom vent. Get to Gunta and Tenko. Hmm. No, that wouldn't make sense. Some of these uh, panels might be lies, by the way. You gotta kinda like, look at them and check out. Turn on flash function, which would be here. Okay. Bow to Mew. <laughs> Behold Mew in her greatness. Uh, I don't think that would be there, would it? Would it be here? Yes. Okay. Let's see, bookcase returns to original position. Security sensor receiver goes off. Okay. And this one would be classroom vent. Leaving this being... No. Okay. Never mind. Hmm. After the receiver went off, what did Suichi see in the library? Oh. Alright. Maybe I should actually read what these damn things say. Alright. Um. Suichi saw that the bookcase. Oh, why wasn't the sound audible? There we go. No, before in the original, I'm so used in like the other two games that they don't ask you questions on this. They kind of just, you kind of just eyeball it. Now the receiver went off with the switch you see in the library. You see, uh, where is it? See the door close. Okay. Oh, then where does this go? Wanted to fight against Monokuma. Oh, okay. This is the truth of the case. It all began two days prior, when Monokuma gave us the additional motive. The time limit added to this killing game triggered the crime. After the announcement, some of us decided to form groups to plan our next move. I had my own plan to find the mastermind, and someone offered to help me. At the time, I never would have imagined they would become the culprit. To expose the mastermind, the culprit and I set up hidden cameras in the library. There was a hidden door in the library that showed signs of use. We deduced that the mastermind would return there to let Monokuma out. The next day, we asked Mew if she could modify some cameras for our trap. We then went to the warehouse to gather the necessary materials. All we needed were disposable cameras and a security sensor. But the culprit found something else there. The murder weapon. That's right, the shot put ball. They put the cameras as well as the shot in their backpack. Then, on the day the time limit would expire, the day of the murder, the culprit and I collected the modified cameras from you and visited the library. Once there, we searched the room for ideal locations to place the cameras. But even then, the culprit was preparing the murder.
They began by removing the vent grate and laid it inside the air duct. Then, they moved the pile of books on top of the bookcase, pretending to organize them. After that, they placed open encyclopedias on the final bookcase. It appeared innocuous enough, but it was actually a path for the murder weapon. The culprit also tampered with the hidden camera linked to the security sensor. I was responsible for setting up the other cameras, but that one... I didn't even notice their trick. They used duct tape to keep the flash function on. After the cameras were set, the culprit and I climbed the stairs to the first floor classroom. We kept a lookout for the others and waited for the security sensor to go off. During the stakeout, we saw Kaito and six others go down to the basement. Rantaro was with them, the first victim. After watching that group into the game room, I returned to the classroom. With about one hour remaining, the security receiver I was holding went off. I assumed it was the mastermind, so I ran out of the classroom to the library. I was in such a hurry, I left the culprit behind. Looking back on it now, that was the last chance I had to stop the murder. After I had left, the culprit took the shot put ball out of their backpack and rolled it into the classroom vent. This set the murder in motion. Rantaro had moved the bookcase, triggering the receiver. Unbeknownst to him, the trap had been sprung. First, the modified camera took a picture of Rantaro with the flash on. Rantaro noticed the flash and approached the bookcase to inspect the camera. The camera flash lured Rantaro directly into the murder weapon's path. The shot the culprit tossed into the vent rolled through the air duct. came out of the library's vent and kept rolling atop the bookcase. Opening the vent grate and organizing the books was all to create a path. Under normal circumstances, the victim would have been alerted by the noise. But the promotional video was masking the sound of the shot rolling. The shot kept rolling then fell on Rantaro's head, killing him instantly. By the time we had entered the room, the murder was complete. I imagine, seeing Rantaro's body, the culprit probably thought, the mastermind is dead. The game is over. Now we can all go home. But their wish didn't come true. Because Rantaro wasn't the mastermind. It was murder. In an attempt to save all our lives. That is the truth. That's the truth behind your lies, Kaede Akamatsu. The ultimate pianist. And that concludes the events of this case. Damn, Kaede, I am speechless. No. Kaede did it? Damn it! It is a truth I do not wish to accept. 
But since Shuichi has brought everything to light, we can at least try to trust the Kaede we've come to know up to this point. The Kaede we've come to know? Even if she did commit a crime, what Kaede has said to us is not a lie. She wanted to protect us, and I firmly believe that to be the truth. If that was a lie too, it'd be the last straw for me. I'd have nothing left to believe in. You guys are so nice, even though I betrayed you all. No, that's not true, Kaede. You were trying to save all of us. Nice job, Shuichi. I didn't expect any less. What? You were super reliable back there. But you still have a long way to go. You need to be more assertive. If you did that more often, you'd be a pretty cool guy. <laughs> Damn, Kaede. Kaede, why? Why are you smiling like that? Why are you still trying to get me to be brave? Why, Kaede? Why are you thinking about everyone except yourself? If you had just been less selfless, you wouldn't have had to murder. Why? Why do you do that? I'm sorry. Stop, stop, stop! At least save it for the end of the trial! Sheesh! <laughs> Looks like the debate's finished, so that means it's voting time! All right, you bastards! Press the button in front of you to cast your vote! And make sure y'all vote, because refusing to vote is grounds for termination. At last! The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless finally face off! It's voting time! Ah, shit. Are they making me manually vote? Oh, God damn it. I didn't have to do this. In the last games. I'm sorry, Kaede. I wish things could have been different. <laughs> it seems the voting is finished. Now then, let's see the result. As the blackened, will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Shouldn't you say that before we do the voting? Oh god, I am not ready for this. Perfect days. Absolutely right. Well, at this point, it goes without saying, but you all voted correctly. The blacken who killed Rantaro Amame is the ultimate pianist, Kaede Akamatsu. I'm glad. Good. What? What? Good. Don't screw around. What do you mean, good? Is this how you want to end? That's not true. Not really, but it could have turned out a lot worse, so this is fine too. I don't get it! It's not fine. This is super horrible. The worst ever. <laughs> yeah, how did it come to this? Please. Kaede, what would possess you to do something like this? <laughs> I'm going to cannot accept this. Not unless you explain. Real? Yeah, I won't be satisfied. Until I hear it straight from you. Hey! Kaede, please. <sighs> okay. Please allow me a few more moments of your time, then. It's just like Suichi said. 
I was after the mastermind this entire time. I wanted to kill the mastermind, and I thought doing that would end the killing game. But, but why did you try to kill them? Maybe they could have been captured. Um, if it had been for the time limit, I probably would have done that. But the time limit meant that capturing the mastermind was less likely to work, you know? Because the mastermind could have just played dumb to run out the clock and kill us all. Yeah. I was worried about that happening. Therefore. So you sought to kill the mastermind instead. That's right. I had made up my mind just before we set up the cameras in the library. I thought it was my last chance to save everyone. I couldn't let that chance pass me by. I had to save everyone no matter what. Even if you had to kill someone? Yeah. That's right. I thought that killing the Mastermind was our best shot at escaping this place together. I... I really believed it too. Kaede. But... Oh, Kaede. It never dawned on you. As soon as the thought entered your head, Monokuma had, the, had you right where you wanted. Because what matters most to Monokuma is that the killing game started. You really don't get it. Regardless of your reasons, the moment you felt the urge to kill, you had already lost. You agreed to be part of the killing game when you allowed murder to fill your heart. Wait. Wait, to put it like that. But he's not wrong. She's the reason the killing game finally started. Uh, no. But if Kaede hadn't done anything, we'd all be dead by now. Right. Kaede save everyone. No matter, no one can blame her. I know that. I know! You don't need to remind me. That's why I'm so pissed off. Pissed off at myself for being so useless. Um. Kokichi, that's enough. I can see through your act. Man. Whoops. That obvious, huh? That's right. But Kokichi's right. I was playing. I was being played. And I didn't even kill the mastermind. I killed one of our dear friends instead. What I did was terrible. So unforgivable. <laughs> I took an innocent life. I'm nothing but a horrible murderer. You should all hate me, blame and be disgusted by me. Wait! Kaede, please calm down. Uh... After we found Rantaro's body, when I realized he wasn't the mastermind, I thought about ending this by confessing to you what I had done. But I couldn't, because of Monokuma's first blood perk. Your... I see. If you confess, there and then, you would have been able to leave. But you decided you couldn't leave this place by yourself, so you kept quiet. Because of the first blood perk, you were forced to hide the truth from us. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I see. So the first blood perk worked against the Blacken rather than for them. But at the same time, I thought, if I did this for everyone, then instead of making things easier by confessing, I thought I should lie to you all. So it motivates you to keep moving forward. Then... Is that the reason for the trial? To reveal the mastermind? Because... I felt like if I didn't do this, then Rantaro's death would have been meaningless. Well then... We were searching for both the culprit and the mastermind during this class trial. Oh yeah! Uh, Kaede did mention that. By that... But that's why I want to end all this terrible things happening to us. I'll defeat the Mastermind and end this dumb killing game. I'll even use this trial to do it. I... I never wanted to keep my crime a secret. I was going to tell you all eventually. But before I did, I wanted to expose the Mastermind first. Then the killing game would have ended, and everyone but me would have been saved. Uh... I thought that was the best way I could atone for killing Rantaro. Sorry. This is my fault. I was wrong. There was no mastermind. What? You were wrong? But didn't you say the mastermind was one of us? Uh, okay. That's what I thought at first. But in the end, we have nothing. No one made any moves at the time limit. The trial was useless. Let's see. Even when Suichi was about to be voted as the blackened. Still, they did not appear. Maybe. Yeesh, that seriously was a close one. If Kaede had just kept her mouth shut, we'd all be dead by now. No way. There has to be something else we can discuss. We just gotta think. Right, Suichi? But... On the other hand, she's only in this mess because she decided to say something at that moment. That's... I wanted to protect Kaede. 
but I also wanted to unmask the mastermind. But even when the killer was about to be condemned, they remained hidden. Sorry. That has to mean that the mastermind is not among us after all. What? Among us? Where? <laughs> Takeda had the wrong idea the whole time. I see. All her actions were taken under Suichi's flawed logic. Uh, okay. And that's why it's my fault. All of this happened because my detective work was wrong. If I hadn't been so stupid. If I never said anything about the mastermind of Kaede. When Tara wouldn't have died, and Kaede wouldn't be murdered. This is all my fault. That's wrong. No, it's not. Huh? Kaede. Because... I killed him, not you. Right? Right? Didn't I? But... But Kaede, why did you set such a convoluted trap? If your intention was to kill the mastermind, there was no reason for you to cover your tracks. Jeez. Isn't it obvious? It's because she didn't want Suichi to know. Huh? Me? Yeah. Of course. But I didn't want anyone else to know either. Because I said I wanted to escape this place with everyone. Because... But you guys wouldn't want to be friends with a girl who killed someone, would you? <laughs> be friends? <laughs> Kaede put a lot of thought into this. She put so much thought into this, it drove her to commit murder like a lunatic. God, you're such a dumbass. Yeah. I know, right? I'm such an idiot. However, We only survived this time limit because of that idiocy. Right. Yes. We're still alive thanks to you. <laughs> Kaede, I didn't know how, but I wanted to get you out of here. I wanted to be friends. Sorry. I'm sorry. Damn. So you're saying everything you did was because you were thinking of us? And you hid that you killed him just to stay and help us? How did things... Hi, hello! All right, all right, that's it. What? what? What do you mean? What do you mean, that's it? Ah. Father, you getting bored? That's right. You know how Pops gets. He can't stand this kind of tear-jerky schlock. <laughs> I can't stop crying. I see nothing, I see nothing gets past my adorable little cubs. I don't even let appetizers get past me, especially if someone else bought them. Now then. But we can't let this boring display grind the action to a halt, so... Time to make things interesting. Huh? Make things interesting? Thrills, chills, and now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Punishment time. Ah! Punishment? You mean Kaede's execution? Don't screw around! No freaking way. There's no way we won't let you do that. Hey! Punishment time is a sacred segment. You're not allowed to interfere. And if you even try to interfere, we'll just crush you with these here exocells. It's cool, but... It's probably better if one person dies instead of everyone. Like hell am I just gonna sit here and do what you say? Kaede fought with her life on the line, and so will I! Gonta will face you all. Times like this are why Gonta became strong. Gentlemen never back down, and neither will Gonta. Th this is the perfect chance to test out my Neo Aikido skills on machines! Yeah, I'll help. I can... Everyone stop! <laughs> wow, dang it, Rampa. I don't, I don't know how they expect to fight machines <laughs> with their bare fist. Please, just stop. Kaede. Kaede. I... Enough, you guys. I've already prepared myself. You're giving up? Why? But why? You said you never give up. That we get out of here together. Oh, thanks for the follow. I greatly appreciate it. <laughs> That's what you said, Kaede. So why are you giving up now? Did you mean what you said? I know we can do something. Don't give up until the end. No. I'm not giving up. Because I have you. Huh? What? You know? Even after I'm gone, my wish will still be here. So I'm counting on you all. I'm entrusting my wish to every one of you. I believe in you. I believe that you all make it through this somehow. You have to live! 
You guys better live. Don't go dine on me now. In this ridiculous killing game, survive and get the hell out of this place. It's a promise. And then, be friends after you escape, okay? I think you'll be able to be best of friends. Yeah. Affirmative, Kaede. I shall take that request. I'll do my utmost to fulfill your final request. I won't give up. I'll get out of here no matter what. Going to work hard and keep friends safe till the very end. Bye. Well, Kaede, you definitely weren't boring. Well, now. now then, let's get started. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment. For the ultimate pianist, Kaede Akamatsu. Wait a second. Kaede, please don't. Hey. Suichi, you better not lose. You can't lose. You can't lose to this killing game. I know you can beat it. It's punishment time! I believe in you! I believe in you guys. So please, believe in yourselves. It's a promise. Okay? It's a promise. Okay, I didn't want to say anything because that was Kaede's moment, but what the fuck just happened? <laughs> oh. I have to say, Danganronpa 1, the executions, they were, they were kind of like, in the context of things, they were brutal. Danganronpa 2, they played it more on the funny side. Danganronpa 3, the only execution I've ever seen is Kaede's. And I have to say, that's uncomfortable. It's like, it's like they took the concept of Danganronpa 2 and 1 and mashed them together and said, let's do it in the most comically dark way we can possibly do it. Huh. And why the fuck did Mono Dam kill Mono? Uh, what the other one? I forgot his name. What is it? Mono, it's Mono. Mono Dam's the robot, and then Mono, uh, Mono Skay's the smart one. Mono Taro, Mono Fee. I don't remember the blue one's name. I really don't. <laughs> why did he just kill him like that? What was that about? The moment it was over, I felt my legs give out under me. Really? <laughs> Monodam does that shit too? Okay. What I just saw didn't feel real. As if all reality had vanished, and the only thing left was a fictional world. 
Real or not, Kaede was gone. Kaede Akamatsu no longer existed in our world. Huh? What the? Why is Maru kid? Maru damn! What have you done? Oh gross, she puked again. Oh well. But this tension ain't so bad, you know? Finding feels like a proper killing game. If anything, we can if anything, we can stand we can stand to use a little more tension in our lives, right dad? No, my sweet darling model kid! Claimed as collateral damage. This is a nightmare. This is unaccepted. My precious cub is on second thought, I guess it's okay after all. I still got four more. Phew, I'm glad you kids came in bulk. Huh? It's okay? I'm shocked our existence means that little, huh? What's done is done. What's dead is dead. No point crying over crush cubs. Unless you want to end up like these sad sex. But how? What? What in the world is this? Are you fucking kidding me? Talk about overkill. Amen. Matua, please grant Kaede soul eternal peace. I can't believe this happened to Kaede. I liked her so much. You piece of shit. You fucking piece of shit, Kokichi. <laughs> you better find a good way to redeem yourself, Kokichi. You better find it. I'm out of patience with you. All oh, this is generally creates such an exquisite feeling of despair. It's moments like this that makes all the killing worth it. This is... Why are you doing such a terrible thing? How dare you! You're the worst of the worst! Does human life have no value to you at all? Hey, um... Hey, I know human life is precious. I'm not a monster, you know. Because <laughs> if human's life wasn't precious, ending it wouldn't be nearly as fun. Extreme! There's no greater joy than witnessing such a despair. Eh. I mixed the word dis despair and display together. Yikes. Such a display of despair entertainment. <laughs> you surprise you surpassed iconic by a wide margin. What now? I don't think I ever felt quite this irritated. I won't no. forgive you for this. Got that? I won't ever forgive you. Oh. Spoken like a marked man. Excuse me. What is your objective, Monokuma? What are you trying to pull? Do you hate us? If so, have we done something to make you hate us? Huh? Hate you? <laughs> Who can say? Hey, um... That's your job to figure out. If you really want... If you really want to know what's going on, you're gonna have to work for it. Well... Though, the corpse formerly known as Rentaro may have had a hunch... Huh? Huh? What is it? What do you mean? What is Rentaro's hunch? What indeed? That is. He did say he could end this game, and he also knew about the hidden door. Could that be all that's related to this hunch you claim he had? <laughs> I wonder. Why you? Hey, what the hell's this hunch you're going on about? Spill it. <laughs> I wonder. Then... If you have no intention of telling us, then keep your mouth shut. Cause... You're focusing on Kaede instead of her deadweight victim? Well, it's not his fault he was useless. He died before his talent could be revealed. If he had lived long enough to reveal it, maybe he would have been more useful. Too bad. Oh well, he's dead, and that's that. And that's the indifference of death for for all of you. However, he wasn't really the mastermind, was he? You're really funny. Huh? You're still pestering me with this annoying question? And another thing. Aren't you guys focusing a little too much on whether or not there's a mastermind? If you keep this up, you're all gonna end up like Kaede. What? Here. Maybe spend less time worrying about nonsense and more time watching your back, okay? Right. You never know who's gonna become the next killer. <laughs> Looking forward uh, to it. I can't wait. I wonder what kind of killing game we will get to see next. <laughs> Damn it! You may have gotten us this time, but we'll get you next time. You'll see. Why are you all psyched up? That's nice. It's nice to see that at least one of you has some... Some cut... What? Ch Chud's pat? What? What is that word? <laughs> I have a feeling you're gonna live for a while. Thanks. Thanks. I do my best. 
Don't screw around. Shut the hell up. We're not gonna have another killing game. I Kaito Mamota. I'm not gonna let you have any I'm not gonna let you have your way anymore. Got it? I'm gonna punch that grin right off your face for sure. Is that so? Oh really? That seems unlikely. Too bad. I'm pretty sure you won't live long enough to do that. Damn. Well Anyways, you guys have a lot of time to think. <laughs> Work hard and do your best to graduate, cause the fun's only just begun. Hey, Monodam, explain yourself. Mm. I get that Monoke was obnoxious and rude, but that was way over the line. Because. I did it for us. Ah. Wait, Monodam! Hmm. Where are you going? It's getting interesting. You probably killed him as payback for all the bullying. That's <laughs> what an interesting turn of events. He just pushed him in there at the last second. <laughs> what the hell? And with that, Monokuma and the Cubs left, and only we remained in the courtroom. Damn, Smoogie, you're taking that pretty hard. I don't think I can take all this. I can't stand this anymore. I feel like I'm gonna go crazy. No. Smoogie, you mustn't give up hope. Mm. Is there even hope to be had here? The room feels utterly drained of it. <laughs> Kaede. What kind of degenerate male cries in public? It's so rude. Um. But Tenko, you're crying too. Hey. Now it's not the time to point that out, Kibo. Just let it be. Prayer time. In times like this, we should pray for Kaede's soul so she can rest in peace. What? How's anyone supposed to rest in peace after getting killed like that? I don't know. What are we gonna do from now on? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to know too. I'm so over this already. That's enough! Shut up! Y'all just need to shut up. Kaito's voice boomed in the air, and the room went silent. Damn! Every single one of you and your meek little complaints. Shut up! You're pissing me the hell off. Damn it. But the one who's pissing me off the most Dumbass. is you, Suichi. Huh? What? Oh! What the fuck, Kaito? Clench your teeth! Kaito! You are supposed to say that before you hit him! Did you hear what Kaede said? She said she believed in you! That she passed her wish onto you! But what the hell's wrong with you? You didn't say a damn thing to Monokuma! You call yourself a man?! Damn it. What's the matter? Say something already. Dumbass. I just hit you. Aren't you pissed off? What's your problem? <sighs> Enough, Kaido. Mm -hmm. Sucker punching is pretty low, even for a low-life degenerate male like you. Listen up. You better knock it off or I'm gonna explode my Neo Aikido all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> fine. Are you okay? Suichi, you okay? Uh, okay? I'm fine. For now. Please stop. This sort of altercation is just a waste of time. Mm. Gonta not sure it's a waste of time, but Gonta agree fighting not good. Then? Can we leave now? Staying here will only make us more depressed. <laughs> well put, I agree wholeheartedly. Sorry. I'm sorry. You all should go ahead without me. Um. Why? Is there a reason you wish to stay in a place like this? Uh, um... I want to be alone for a while. Just for a little bit. But... But we can't just leave you here by your... No. Sumigi? Perhaps it would be the best if we allowed him some privacy for now. Who's my favorite character? Well, if we're talking about all of Danganronpa... So far... I have a soft spot for Mikon. I love her. But... If we're talking about V3... Um, I feel like I don't know, I feel like I don't know much about these characters to get a full profile about them, but as of right now, as of right now, it's, well, mainly because they're my waifus, but as of right now, it's between, um, uh, Mew and 
and uh, Maki. But in terms of actual story, probably... Hmm. Sure as fuck not Kokichi, he's pissing me off. Uh, <laughs> in terms of story, probably... I mean, we have yet to see most of the characteristics of everyone else, but... So right now, for story, probably either Suichi or Kaede. It's a pretty simple answer, but... Maybe we'll find out more later. <laughs> but, yeah, Mew and Maki. Mew and Maki, they're the, they're the waifus, and I will be very sad if something bad were to happen to them. Please do not tell me. Smoogie, perhaps it would be best if we allowed him some privacy for now. Okay, I suppose. Suichi, oh, Tenko's pretty cool, too. <laughs> she's sexist as hell, but she says some funny shit. I like her. Don't beat yourself up, okay, Suichi? Yeah. Yep. Just hit the reset button on your feelings, and you'll feel happy and cheerful in no time. Burn in hell, Kokichi! Listen. Being a tad insensitive is important for survival. It helps one avoid suicidal thoughts. Hey! Gonto will... Gonto's pretty cool, too. <laughs> oh, hey! How's it going? I hope I pronounced his name correct. Shangling? Hope I'm pronouncing that correct. How's it going? Hope you're having a wonderful time, and thank you for stopping by. Gonto will be back, too. I got to know if you need his help, okay? I don't know, there's a lot of winners in this goddamn batch of characters. I know Danganronpa 1 had some losers, in my opinion. Uh, and Danganronpa 2 really had a really great cast, especially with their story and stuff. And, like, everything that happens leading up to that point was one of, like, the few stories that actually made me... That switch... It flipped the switch in my head that's like, oh... Junko's a bad, a bad character. She's a good villain to me just going like, yeah, I hate Junko. She's really fucked up. <laughs> one by one, everyone climbed, climbed aboard the elevator. Except. I mean, Suichi, I don't know how well you knew Kaede, but why don't you try going to her ultimate lab? Huh? What do you mean? That's right. Monokuma set the room up, so there's probably not a lot there to remember her by. But there should be a bunch of little things she liked. Uh, okay. Things Kaede liked. Listen up. Understand? There's only one way to get to get through this awful feeling. No one's gonna be able to console you if you're just sitting here alone. I mean if anyone's gonna help you, it'll be her and your memories. With those words, he stepped onto the elevator. Before I realized it, I got to my feet. I just started walking, and I was headed towards the ultimate pianist research lab. You guys ready to watch me butcher names of classical music pieces because I don't know how to pronounce them? It's not as, it's not as if there would be any memories here. But these are the things she was really passionate about. And that's good enough for now. What a magnificent piano. I would have liked to hear her play it, if only just once. <sighs> that reminds me, the song that Kaede was talking about. Of course, it must be here somewhere. Who is my favorite Danganronpa? I don't understand. What? <laughs> Who is my favorite Danganronpa? You mean like, which one's my favorite game? Please clarify for me. I stood in front of the shelves of CDs and searched each one thoroughly end to end. It should be here somewhere. Where is it? Oh. oh. Here it is. This is it. Which one's my favorite Danganronpa? Well, this is my first time going through V3. Well, let me, let me explain. I bought V3 when it came out and then I was going to record it and upload it onto YouTube. But then after recording the first trial, which we just did, um, fucking, 
I just sat there and I turned the game off and I said, I'm not ready to do a let's play of this or anything like that. I'll wait until down the road where I feel more confident about it. And that was, that was back when the game came out in like December of 2017, I think, something like that. And then since then, I've just been holding on to the game. So now, so now at this point, after the end of this chapter, we're going into new territory and I don't know anything about this game. Well, I don't know anything about this game besides two spoilers that I got spoiled on, which I hope doesn't ruin my, uh, my experience with the game, but you know. So V3, I can't count that in. Um, if you're asking about favorite Danganronpa, does that also count like the manga, anime, and like the side stories? Like, does that count Killer Killer? Does that count Danganronpa If, Episode Hagakure? Or is it just like the main, the main three? Because if it's out of the main three, then it's definitely Danganronpa 2. Here it is. This is it. I took the CD from the shelf and placed it in the player in the corner. Soon a soft melody had filled the classroom. Hey, it's that song that plays in Evil Within, that's cool. My body relaxed, totally enveloped in the music. It was a strange feeling. The sound sleeping, sleeping? The sound seeping into my body. Before long, I began to close my eyes. I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. I like Debussy. It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yeah, I'm shaking too. But I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. You give me the courage I need to take on the mastermind. So please, be more confident. I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. Yeah, I'll try. I don't know if I can do it, but... No, I'll do it. I finally just realized something. I don't know why. It's the moment Suichi just said, yeah, I'll try. By the way, sorry to ruin this spiritual moment. Um, this is a voice actor in Persona. <laughs> is this, uh, I think this is, is this, um, ah, fuck. What's his name? Mm, Shinji. Is this Shinji's voice actor? I have to believe in myself. Either it's Shinji's voice actor? No, it can't be Shinji's voice actor. It's either Shinji's voice actor or Jin's voice actor. I won't be afraid anymore. I will face the truth for everyone. I won't give up for your sake, Kaede. It might be Jin. It's probably Jin's voice actor because I can just hear him going like, Takaya's, now's not the time. I promise. From the bottom of my heart, I promise you, Kaede. Yep. That's our promise. I'm leaving everything up to you, Shuichi. There's fucking ghosts in this game? Goodbye. <laughs> There's a g -g 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 ghost Damn, Kaede. I feel so bad that I played this game- I, that I played up to this part when the game came out. Because... Like, literally when I was done with the trial, I put the controller down I said- I said, oh no, I made a mistake. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I'll try and look for the old recording if I have like my reaction to uh, figuring out, you know, Kaede was the culprit and everything like that, but yeah. Oh my god, I've been fucking streaming for almost five hours. Holy shit. Do I want to say. Gameplay is paused because you cannot enter a block scene. How about you shut the hell up? Video game. Do I like Samugi? I don't really know much about her. But I guess if I'm going off of uh, what I thought, 
to compare her, if I'm going off of what I thought of Chiaki and Danganronpa 2, like when I first met them, um, fucking, whatchamacallit, uh, yeah, Chiaki shows up in Danganronpa 2 and they're like, she's the ultimate girl gamer, and of course, at the time I just sat there, I went, I really hope this character isn't just here to pander to people, and luckily it was, luckily she wasn't, so... That was amazing. Chiaki's a really great character. Samugi right now is just an ultimate cosplayer, and she hasn't really contributed much in the story at this point, so maybe down the road she'll be more involved in a case or something. But as of right now, she's just kind of she's just kind of there. Right? Like everyone who everyone who's just kind of there giving their side comments are not really contributing a lot. They were so young and talented. How could this happen? All right. Wrong button. I'm going to pause that there, right? Can you tell me something? No, you cannot. No, you stop. You stop what you're doing now. I know it's coming from a good place, but you stop. You stop. <laughs> you stop. I know you're being wonderful. You're being a wonderful person, but... I will say, last time I streamed this game, which was like weeks ago, which was also one of the reasons why I just didn't come back to this game instantly, someone in the chat, they, you know, they were being nice, right? But they got a little too excited. They got, silent? What the fuck was that word I just said? They got a little too excited and they said a spoiler. Luckily, it was, it was one out of the two spoilers that I knew. So I kind of side dodged it, you know, kind of like brushed it off. But it kind of made me sad because I went, oh man, it sucks that I already know that. <laughs> it's not a, it's not a relevant spoiler. Is it a spoiler? Listen. 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 I appreciate it. I really do. I really do. But I play, like, I play a lot of games with a lot of, uh, mystery and shit and the moment you give me one piece i'm gonna roll with it if you want more examples of that uh way back when i actually did record my first playthrough of danganronpa 2 that's on youtube which is on the screen that's on my youtube page i'm not a fan of that playthrough myself because i just didn't like how i did things back then but uh if you want to watch that that's on youtube the whole playthrough is there um for danganronpa 2 is my first time going through it and then I also have the Ace Attorney games up there. Um, right now I have Ace Attorney and then Ace Attorney Justice for All. I still have to upload the streams that I did for uh, Trials and Tribulations, but... If you, if you need any examples of my thought process, it's in those videos where I will, for the most part, talk about it, figure out the answer way before all the other characters, or go on some crazy tangent. But yeah, I think, since I've been streaming for five hours, I think this is a great stopping point for here. I just saved the game, didn't I? It's a great stopping point from here. It's the end of a chapter, start of a new one. Um, and let me see, will I be... Okay, tonight I will be streaming. I think that's in the, I think that's in the, um, schedule, on the Twitch schedule. So... Uh, just in case for people who don't know, we're watching the VODs or whatever. Um, 2 a.m. Eastern EST, because I stream late at night. Um, that's my time zone. And for those in the West Coast, I think that is 11 p.m. at night. So, later on, we're going to come back with more Danganronpa, at least if I wake up with my fucking alarm doesn't destroy itself <laughs> stop talking you think you're annoying no you're doing fine you're great i think i'm annoying um i don't like the sound of my own voice i really don't but um later on gonna come back with more dangarampa in the meantime if anyone wants to go watch anything why the fuck did my phone just turn on that was weird if anyone wants to go watch anything um on my youtube right now i am doing a playthrough of Jimmy Neutron Attack of the Twonkies on PS2. Yeah, that's right. That's something that I'm doing. And then I think later today I might upload another part of a new playthrough. 
I'm not sure about that. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for that. That's there on YouTube. My Twitter, you follow it if you want. I don't care. Uh, and then, yeah, for Twitch, we're going to come back tonight on the schedule, play more Danganronpa. And yeah, that's that. So, for everyone who came and watched, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. For those watching the VODs, thank you for watching the VODs. Nice to know that you care enough to watch me when I'm not live. And for people who see this playthrough on YouTube, come over to the Twitch page. Because you don't see this playthrough on YouTube until it's all done. Come be part of the discussion. I just hit my microphone. That sucked. But that's going to be it for today's stream. And I will see you guys next time. As always, stay happy, stay healthy. And take care. I'm a chef too. What else should I be? Please don't take off my